lactose intolerance. But the lactose intolerance? <laughs> yeah. Well, never it, gonna go away. <laughs> Uh, I don't, well, I'm not sure about lactose intolerance, but I guess there's some sort of intolerance somewhere in the world. Uh, I mean, yes, there is, but, um, but when it comes to the world of gaming, I believe there was some sort of, uh, intolerance, but, uh, we'll get to that, uh, for 297, we're just three episodes away from the big 300. Not that we have any big plans or anything, but... Uh, but either way, hope everyone's been doing good for, uh, this past week. Um, but yes, this is the Hypecast with yours truly, as always, Sean, aka Hawk525, <laughs> with my cohort, Zawa, who, ha who, has, who is repping this the Venom, uh, chugging the milk for Save the Last Dance. <laughs> what kind of milk? We don't know. <laughs> yeah. What if that was like? I know. What if I that, know what kind of milk. <laughs> what, if, what if it was just like zero percent or something, or like what do you call it, reduced fat, like just white yes. water, basically? Oh god, you, you ever had that? No, I had the, I had the two percent fat, and then yeah, two percent is like the popular one. Yeah, then there was. I had the red one. Well, the carton was like red. A red one? Hmm. No, oh, that may be uh that's whole fat, I think. That was, yeah, that whole fat. And yeah. that one I was like like, ooh, this <laughs> Yeah, the green one I think that's the reduced one, or is that is that the red or or uh excuse me, blue or green or something? No, uh for us um blue is the two percent. No, okay. But I, I guess it depends red on is like... the the whole the whole milk. Red is the whole like, milk <laughs> and then Green is, I guess, reduced. I don't know. I guess it depends on where you get it, where you get it from, too. But either way, reduced fat's terrible. But it's for people who um, want the protein. So I get it. But it's disgusting. Anyway, so <laughs> I mean, it's not the worst worst thing in the world. Like I could drink it if it was like the only thing somehow in the house. But I still prefer two percent. Whole fat is like very tempting, but yeah, obviously um, you have to drink that sparingly in comparison to two percent. But even then, I think uh, people say two percent is still too much for people who are like trying to really cut down and uh, be shredded. But anyway, because it's two percent from the big big um, container and not so much two percent in the uh, the carton. They only go by the um, the big um, volume of the container that it was uh, processed in or something, whatever, in the uh, factory. But anyway, enough about food stuff. Uh, we definitely have some um, good eatings, but also some bad ones, depending on who you are or what, what part of gaming you reside yourself in. Again, we'll talk all about that. It's uh, it's been kind of a like a scatterbrain sort of situation for this week too. Like, not too much big, but uh, um, again, that depends on who you are. Um, so yeah, let's just um get right into it. Uh, I would grab my iPad, but I'm a little lazy today, so we'll just we'll just do it the, the old-fashioned way today. So I'm just gonna hit this. <laughs> This battle is about to explode. And not to mention, I think the, the soundboard thing got a little updated. It's more uh, sleek looking, so I, I do like that. Yes. Yeah, I saw. <laughs> yeah. I like I like the current uh, layout. Yes. Oh yes. 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 <laughs> Alright. It's kinda creepy while when you play that I was looking at Venom. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, well. Anyway, um, so this one uh, involves with an arena fighter called Dragon Ball Spark, uh, Sparking Zero, and uh, being an arena fighter, right? It's, it tends to be very accessible. You know, you just hit buttons and stuff happens on the screen. Well, it all already sold um, three million units in the first twenty-four hours of release, according to Screen Time. Anyway, the fastest-selling Dragon Ball game of all time. Uh, if that is all, all true. So, um, 
have you checked out any more of like stuff on Sparking Zero or like people playing it? Um, just some people playing it, and then there's the whole. From what I was just hearing, off, you know, in the wind, mm -hmm. uh, people are. I don't know. Being serious or not, they're saying Sparking Zero looks much better than fighters like graphic wise uh okay so i uh, so you, you may have like heard that in the wind i i've heard stuff like that but i don't know exactly who but i think i think i can kind of see where they're coming from though because yeah you know like it's it's not so much like the uh the style but so, but like the actual movement and the effects i yeah. think is what looks better but not so much like the actual characters themselves necessarily. You know what I mean? Uh, I think it's because they are using um, Unreal 5. Whereas, I forget um, if the Arxis people are still using Unreal 4 or not. Or, or not. I think it is 4. It has to be 4. So I know it's not like, oh, Unreal 2 or whatever. Or like fucking MK. Like MK, M, uh, the people from MK. Like they... Like, when I heard that they were still using, like, the oldest, like, engine or whatever, like, the old Unreal or whatever old engine it was, and then they just switched over to Unreal 4 or whatever, that was mind-blowing. I was like, what the hell? So, the, um, I mean, yes, the, the female faces were a little rough, but, like, the rest of it, like, I'm like, damn, really? Even up to uh, MK, I think it was uh, MK11, that they were still using the old engine. But anyway, back on to Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball stuff. Um, I, I, I can kind of understand where they're coming from with that, but I still think, I still do think that, uh, Arxis, you know, uh, or just the style from Arxis is still looking better just because of like the smear, the smear frames and like all like the way they like, you know, move. Yeah. And it's also like, it's more anime style. Like, yes, it's C see it like it's the anime manga just like colorized yes you can almost kind of like kind of compare it more with uh you know you know like uh what was it what was it called uh uh the whatever latest film it was with gohan and piccolo was it su like su like heroes superheroes or something i, I yeah, forgot what it was called something something superhero yeah still haven't watched so. i haven't watched it either yeah i do want to but yeah um sometime but uh i i would that the, i would say like yeah like you're kind of like essentially bringing it up i think fighters does compare more to a little more towards um a, like anime stuff like a cg anime whereas sparking zero is just looks more like a video game you know you know it just looks like you know a, a, a dragon ball video game and i think that's fine as long as it you know looks good in its own right <clears throat> which i think in this case it does for the most part i think some characters look a little stiff from what i've noticed but uh, from what i was able to kind of glance at but other than that i mean it's an arena fighter so it is what it is um, yeah it's not it's not an emphasis on some things but it's, yes i was watching some some gameplay uh-huh as, as you were saying like stiff faces the mm -hmm. the there's no facial expressions. They all have that, like, I'm going to kick your ass now. Let's go. Mm -hmm. What? It, so, yeah. <laughs> yes. You okay there? Yeah, <laughs> there, there, is, there is some corners being cut in those games, for sure. You know, they have to fit a lot of those characters and, like, animate them and all that stuff um, in this time window. And, you know, it is Bandai Namco, so it is, there is that as well. It's like, yeah. Yeah. All right, make this game, crunch it out, put it out there. You know, trying to really use that. Uh, put it in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It really trying to get that license <laughs> being put to use. Which, being a witch, did you did you hear about the news of of like uh, a number of like One Piece games and Naruto games was was canceled or something from? Oh yeah, it was cut. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, like ah, uh... <laughs> like yeah. It's if like. You, yeah. Mm hmm It was pretty much me going like, ah, uh, Soka. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, if you thought 
the games that they were actually pumping out were a lot. They are actually, it seems like they were really trying to pump out a lot more games. But we're just like, yeah, I think it, the scope, our scope was too big for what we actually have. And they had to like cut out a bunch of them. I'm afraid. But either way, congrats to Sparking Zero, nonetheless, and the people who are enjoying them, of course. Uh, I'll probably wait for my time until, like you're implying, like the, the DLC starts to like roll out. Because that's when, I believe, that's when uh, Beast Gohan comes out or something like that. Or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, so I'll, I'll uh, I, I can wait. I'm not like... Oh my god, I'm I'm super thirsty yeah, for really. Sparking Zero or anything. But I do I do think the game looks really cool, so I do want it to see on my screen eventually. Uh, uh and I'll probably play it on uh console, more likely. Than anything. But yeah. Console. Yeah, console. Um on the PS5. Yeah, so um you know, and then of course, uh, Dragon Ball did just come out with Daima, right? Like, I think episode two is out already or whatever. So yeah, um, that's been, I think that's been going pretty well as well. So yeah, right, right now, Dragon Ball fans are eating pretty good. So yeah. Meanwhile, another big anime, uh, well, we'll, we'll get to that, but yeah. <laughs> meanwhile, right. But before we, um, yeah, meanwhile, yeah, yeah, no. Meanwhile, in the Legion of Doom, <laughs> I love that. I, I love that random um, transition of like the 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 random stars or whatever. It's, it's like really like a cheap transition or whatever. It's just like stars like yeah. shooting by, and then you hear that sound like, <laughs> and then and then it goes to the the big Legion of Doom base in the swamp. <laughs> oh man. All right. Well, before we uh, move on from Dragon Dragon Ball, I found this uh, video. That I found really funny, and it kind of like runs off of like the same or similar tones of abridged, but done by a different people or person. Um, I'll, I'll hold on. Let me see. Uh, I am sc uh, screen sharing. Yes, I need. You, and you do see this? Yes, you. you. Okay. All right. I'm gonna play it. I'll, I'm gonna play the whole yeah, thing. It's like I'm too, too loud. Yeah. yeah hold, all right. Uh, it's halfway. All right. You know, I enjoy playing with my food, but I think it's about time. Sorry, but I don't intend to be a part of some bug's menu. I'd suggest you crawl back into whatever hole it is you call home before it's too late. Hold on, you two. This guy's in a league of his own. You two need to get out of here now! Leaving so soon? Don't you two want to be part of something bigger? Something greater? What are you getting at? What good is your power when so clearly without purpose? Why not instead join me? Allow me to absorb you. And together as one, we shall consume this planet as the true power. <laughs> Seven eyes. How is this the number you came to? <laughs> all of them? Yes, all of them. Really? Vegeta, Goku, Frieza. Including Yamcha. Ah! <laughs> I see. She get it back up? My sensors can no longer pinpoint his location. Well, thank you so much for the light show, but I'm sure the three of us could have handled that thing ourselves. In the future, don't think we need any of your help unless we ask. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, I saved just enough room for dessert. Now, let me show you just how powerful I've truly become. <laughs> hey, hey, is he down? Keep go oh, again, stop go pulling. again. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Yeah, able to do. <laughs> what is he on I don't know how to describe it. I feel like the butt of a joke, in, and I'm not even in the joke this time. I think I'm gonna go cheat on my wife. You don't have a wife. Then I'm gonna go play baseball or some shit. I don't know. 
Yeah. Tough. It's like that. Fuck. Yeah. This is from Solid JJ. I um I, I think is a really I think is really good. He has like uh several other really good stuff too, like including um like old um superhero stuff. But I, I actually do also like um oh where is it? Yeah. Oh yeah. This one. <laughs> the the it, it's like the old justice uh super friends excuse me the old super friends stuff <laughs> it's really funny oh man but yeah no uh, yeah solid jj that, that's the name on uh twitter or solidius jj is the um the handle the actual handle but yeah um nah, I, I like your pronunciation better what solid jj <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah. Well, anyway, so um, I don't know what, you, what did you what did you make of the the the, the little uh, skit? He's got talent. Yeah, I know. I like the pacing of it too. Beat. Yeah. Yeah, the pacing was good, but needs more try beat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what the hell is going on? And just, <laughs> and just have um, uh, what's it? Uh, uh, Kylo Ren, to say he's just screaming more, mm, no. more, more, more. more. <laughs> I like, I like when Tien's like, uh, yeah, that, that was my tribe being attacked. <laughs> like, he's like just mumbling. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what are you mumbling? Like, what the hell was that? <laughs> my, my, my Wait, what the hell's going on? Speak what the hell was that? <laughs> Speak up, you bitch. <laughs> Speak up, bitch. Yeah, and then, and then, uh, fucking sixteen is just like, <laughs> hold on. I like the uh, the text on it. Um, oh, what was it? Um, I like the voice too. None to mention, but <laughs> oh yeah, wait. <laughs> just sample text. <laughs> just sample. <Yeah. laughs> um, and <laughs> in the sense, he, he he does speak you know, like more robotic. More, more, more robotic, yeah. yeah. And then this part when is uh when he's in second form, I love that the the in, the it, it's pretty much universally established that he has that voice, you know, like the in the English dubbing, like no matter who who does it, it's always going to be that voice, you know, that type of voice, yeah. <laughs> you know, the the uh, kind of like walls have dropped, yeah, yeah, <laughs> the, <laughs> like like he actually sounds like he has thick thick lips and a thick like tongue or whatever. <laughs> 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 uh every, everything everything in, in this in this two and a half minute skit was just uh that was great i i can watch it over and over any mtn of course <laughs> with the tribe being or uh kiko kikoho uh depending on where you're from <laughs> but yeah <laughs> oh man good stuff but yeah it's, it's it's like um reliving the abridged um sort of the era if, uh, uh, for the English Dragon Ball fans, right? But um, obviously, it has their own take on it, so that's pretty cool. So, uh, nice job, nice job uh, on the on the the video, solid JJ. So anyway, thought I thought I throw it in there because uh, it was it was really funny, in in two and a half minutes. Okay, so meanwhile, uh, not so much fighting game of itself, but a fighting game artist quote-unquote, uh, drew a VTuber in two fashions, right? One of them is just like the Sh more of like that Shinkiro style, and then the other one is the Nishimura style, which was, yes, both in um, at uh, CVS2. So, yeah, uh, and of course, this is from Hungry Clicker. I uh, almost forgot to mention. So, yeah, very, very much like flexing on the fact that, yes, Hungry, hungry cooker can do, um, you know, bunch of styles or whatever for fighting game stuff, uh, especially. Uh, any comment? What do you, what do you, what do you think? Do you, do you know this uh, VTuber yeah. by the way? Do you recognize him just by looking at him or? I, they look familiar. They do look familiar. Yeah, I, I had to like actually look for the name. But uh, as soon as it popped up, I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, all right. But yeah, because this is Botan, by the way. Um, one of the popular uh, VTubers who actually does play uh, Street Fighter Six right now. 
which is all, all the more reason that uh, people in Japan actually uh, like seeing Street Fighter VI uh, because of like the VTuber push for Street Fighter VI, which I'm all for, definitely. Oh yeah, this is, this is, there's this one too, uh, Geef. I'm gonna click on Drew Geef because um, what's his name? One, uh, Itabashi won one of the premieres, I think, with Geef. So that's pretty cool. And then that's Nemo right there because Nemo hates hates fighting Geef, and especially hates fighting um, Itazan. So that's really funny. But yeah, man, Hungry Clicker is just flexing, man. I I think I think. Also, oh, go ahead, go ahead. And also, people, you can also find Hungry Clicker on a blue sky. So. Oh yes, right here. <laughs> yeah. We'll we'll get to why why uh that's been happening more than ever. Uh, Shit's fucked. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's that's the that's a, a short gist of that. TLDR. Oh, did, did, oh is that uh, is that his Pokemon? Yeah, that, that yeah. Pokemon? You see, yeah, you see the name on the bottom too. Hungry Clicker. That's cool. Yeah, because um, Hungry, Hungry Clicker does draw uh Pokemon card stuff too. From time to time, so that's pretty cool. Damn. That's a good melodic. I, I know. I said, like, oh, I don't know. How much is this card? <laughs> I know. It's like, how much is this card? Right. Yeah, now? it's an EX too. That's really cool. Milo. 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 <laughs> yeah. And, and then uh, a couple weeks back, uh, Heihachi was also drawn. That one's pretty cool too. Why does he almost, like, the facial expression almost looks like. Um... I forget his name already from the live action. Live action what? Uh, Mortal Kombat. Oh, 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 um, uh, Tagawa, I think his name is, or Hiro, uh, no, Kerry Tagawa? Is that, is that what you're thinking? The guy who plays, uh, Shang Tsung? Yeah, yeah, Kerry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Almost right, like. Yeah, like it's kind of getting there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I see what you. Oh, he tried to bring up, um, bring up Terry Tagawa when he was Heihachi for the live action. Oh, yes, 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 yes. He was that. Yes. Um. Yeah, I can, I can see where you're like heading towards. <laughs> Hold on. It's just that facial expression. I think it's just a this facial specific expression. <laughs> yes. Yes. Hold on. See. Yeah. Kind of, kind of yeah, yeah. <laughs> hold on, maybe this one is better, but yeah, basically, basically, if it was like anime, animeified, yeah, 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 I, I can kind of definitely see where it's going. <laughs> yeah, okay. all right, uh, okay, kids, if you want to buy that Milo Tech um, EX version, um, that was made with um, like Hungry Clicker, it costs. Roughly three dollars. Oh, that's not bad. That's definitely not bad. Wait, did you say thirty dollars or three dollars? Three. Oh, three. three. Okay, yeah, that's definitely not bad at all then. Three plus shipping and handling. Yeah, shipping. Yeah, yeah. but that's still not, that's not, not mean, bad. For and if you ever see hungry clicker, you know, have him sign it, and then it's, yeah, it's more of a bragging right at that point. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, hungry, hungry clicker can like just flex on the fly. Just remember that uh, what was it, the Star Rail cover, or that they were yeah. like, at, not not really asking. They were like, oh, show off your uh, whatever cover art thing, and then put yeah, a hashtag. Your, imp uh, your interpretation. Of yeah, you're in the cover art for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like with the hashtag and everything, and then hungry clicker just like. Woof! <laughs> just sl slam dunk on everyone. <laughs> Pretty much. It's like everyone is like here, you know, kind of like they look good, and here comes like <laughs> yeah, <laughs> clicker just boom. Yeah, it, uh, it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it was a, it was pretty much uh, like Michael Jordan dunking on like little leagues, <laughs> the little leagues. Yeah. <laughs> and that's when you're just staring at him, like, like bro, mm -hmm. calm down. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's Shane Akuma. That's really cool. That was like uh, back in August. But yeah, this one too. My Shinonui in the uh, new costume. Really, really good. 
And Hanguku, Hanguku Clicker is fast. Like crazy yeah, fast. fast. Yeah. Like heavier. Yeah, you can just show like the backside of a character. He'll like yeah. ram it like in, in 10 minutes. And you're like, what did you do? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like, heavy, yeah. Like hung, 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 uh, Hungry also does um, live streams. Like if you ever see, see him uh, live stream, you can actually see like how fast uh, they draw. It's really cool. Yeah, really, really good stuff. Especially again, especially the fighting game characters, man. Just unbelievable. I mean, see, it, it's look at that Gambit, dude. It's Holy like, shit! Yeah, the the sketching is is beautiful, but it's more of the coloring. Yeah, it's I the like color. Yeah, definitely like... the colors is what really brings it out. Because if you look, if okay, if you do look really close, yeah, the line art is very like. I would say sketching the most literal way, right? Not not like sketching in a bad way, but like very like rough, you say. But the painting, right? The painting, the coloring yeah. is what really brings it out to life. It is from Rama, by by the way. Rama, uh, one half. Yeah, that is Ayami. Yeah. Oh, Akane. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. I was like, wait, wait. Oh man, yeah, this this rogue. Oh man, that's really good. That's not rogue. Where's her? <laughs> where's her? Uh... Yeah. <laughs> All your apocalypse is here to smack that ass. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Very good stuff. So anyway, uh, let's get to move on here with some Tekken, speaking of which. So I believe previously uh, there was a little bit of a controversy about the DLC pack because the DLC, well, I would say season pass, I guess they didn't include the temple, the, the Genmaji temple, uh, which is basically Heihachi's stage. And um, he had to buy it separately, so that caused people to be like, hey, like, why is it not part of the pass or whatever? Hey, the fuck is wrong with you guys? But now, yeah, but now they, like, corrected it, I guess, by now just including it into the uh, the pass. So for those who are who do actually own the pass, I believe now you can just... Uh, get it so, or um, just it, it is included so that should be good and then and it is released for um I, I think I think I think this is the winter release one if I'm not mistaken or if there is one more stage then okay that's cool also um or I think maybe what it is is that maybe they're um making the next stage free and the Gameaji Temple is still, like, you still have to buy it separately or something. I, I'm not exactly sure. By the way, um, they're trying to answer to the uh, the problem. So, yeah. They took accountability and uh, they're trying to fix it. So, shout out to that. Um, so, yes. Uh, yeah, because it says... Past owners will have access to the Winter Battle Stage DLC without needing to purchase it separately. So uh, it isn't specifically specify if that's the Genmaji Gen Maji Temple Stage or not. So I'm not 100% on that. So if anyone wants to clarify that in the comments or in the text, or no, excuse me, the chat text, uh, please do. And then otherwise, yes, of course, the characters are still um include of course 72 hour early access avatar skin featuring king jean uh and then yeah we still have yet to know who the winter character is aka the last character for the past yeah um and apparently i guess it comes with a, a gift of some kind that includes uh Tekken coins if you log into a certain period so, uh, any comments on the stage part of Tekken? Or? The stage part, you would think it will be like a package deal. Yes. You get, like, you get the character, you get like maybe one or two or three if they want to be nice. You know, different color variations of the player one costume or player two as well. Mm -hmm. And then the stage. Right. Because that was pretty much, if I remember, Smash did that. Yes. Here's Mega Man. Mm -hmm. Here's the stage. Here's his music. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, you get a lot of value. Yeah, there was a lot of value in the Smash DLC stuff, for sure. And, and then I think it was like for Soul Calibur. I forget which one. It was like, mm -hmm. here's the character. Here's some little doohickey for customizing for your customizable character. And here's the stage. Yes. Yeah. But oh okay. You are cold now. E so yeah, so um at least they're trying to fix it somehow. So uh yeah. shout outs to that. Shout outs to the Tekken 8 team for uh taking accountability for sure. And yeah. Alright, so for now that I believe that's it for on the Tekken Tekken side of things. Um and then there was another article to try to clarify things. So let me just go ahead and see if um, to provide context. Okay, Heihachi's DLC inclusion includes the Game Maji stage, which is him, uh, Heihachi's home stage in the headquarters of the Tekken monks. However, even if players are season pass or premium edition owners, they must buy the Game Maji stage. Yeah, so that was the the previous uh, thing. This has frustrated some players and led to uh, multiple discussions amongst the community, social media. Uh, Harada, blah, 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 acknowledged it uh, for some transparency. Um, the staff within Tekken team states they will continue to improve, blah, blah, blah. Um, okay, so. Um, Excuse me. Oof. Let me see. Let me see. The first reward is that players who have the season pass will have access to the winter stage without purchasing it separately. The winter stage battle DLC will arrive with the D uh, winter DLC character. Uh, okay. So it looks like it's. So what it sounds like here is still the 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 uh, temple stage. I think it still is separate for some reason, but they are making the next stage free or something like that. So okay, so it's kind of like a half W ish from what it sounds. If I if I'm if I uh, if I'm reading this correctly. Hmm. So yeah. Hmm. I mean, it's a start. It's a start. Yeah. Okay. Um. Tekken coins. I wonder if you can use the Tekken coins for the stage, or is that only for the uh, what do you call it, the parts or the custom parts for the costumes? I don't know. I'm not sure. By the way, they're working on it. So, all right. Um, frontline news time. So let's go hit the sound effect. There we go. <laughs> that was like yeah, yeah, yeah. You 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 went a little ahead, like a like a, um half a second ahead. <laughs> anyway. Like now you just made me look like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> well, somebody was a fool over at a Pokemon company because they let themselves get hacked from what I've been he uh, hearing. And um, it was a big hack. So what happened during that hack is uh, a lot of the stuff got leaked from Co Pokemon company. So that means a lot of projects were leaked, including um, the Switch 2 stuff, their games in their TV stuff, movies, meeting info and information that was not supposed to be public of course um yes oh, no. what a nightmare mm -hmm. right <laughs> usually in these situations it's very simple you know like a what of what caused it it's like it's like kind of like um oh i just need you to do this and that and then oh um i'm gonna need your info here and then i don't know and then somehow they get the info and then they access to the computer and then it just Go at it. <laughs> they just went zoom. Zoom, yes. Um, CEO, this is from uh, according to Stealth, CEO Satoshi Tajiri acknowledged more than 200, no, 2,000, excuse me, 600 uh, instances of personal employee information from the past, present, and contract workers been stolen. That, so that's also pretty concerning. Um, yeah, so this is the original statement, obviously in Japanese. So yeah. Um, 
it was it's, it we sounds, ain't gonna translate that <laughs> yes it sounds pretty bad either way um apparently there were also source codes for both the pokemon legends uh ZA and also Pokemon Gen 10, apparently. And then, I, um, mm -hmm. I, I want to play a new Pokemon game. Yeah. But I, I'm going to be showing my age. The whole, um, what's it called? Open world. You're able to, to travel to, you know, choose, choose where you want to go. Yeah. The whole open world, like choose, choose whatever you want to go. It's nice, but I I want to build. I I want I want my linear like. You want some direction? It, is yeah. Yeah, I I I want to go back to like you know olden days. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. No, I get it. Where it's pretty much you start here, you go to here. You go through this route, then you go through this damn cave with fucking gazillion yeah. fucking zoo bats mm -hmm. and that yeah. one diglet. And then you had to use a pokey flute to uh, move Snorlax, whatever, <laughs> right? That type of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I get it. I get it. And I then, mean, and the... then you go to Cinnabar Island. And... Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Do all these, do all these doohickey whatever stuff just to open this fucking thing or whatever. Yeah, no, I get it. I get I it. Know. Yeah. You must have this one um, Pokemon with Rock Smash. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then all the kind of they had to be kind of specific about it too, or something like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, anyway. Um, no, no, but no, I do understand. Like, I think the the open world thing didn't work for everybody. Obviously, I don't think it was a universally praised mechanic, but. Um, you know, it, I mean, yes, the open world part is nice to an extent, but, um, you know, you're going to wind up like fighting like the level 50 gym leader somehow, right? Yeah. Like, you're just like, whoa, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> like, like which, which way you, you played a little bit of Scarlet or Violet, right? I, I mean, I beat the main game. Yeah. I mean, okay. Which way did you go left? All right. Uh, well, no, I went, I went yeah. down, I went south, so I went like down. Uh, okay, south. so if we're gonna go like middle, and this is like the school, right? Mm-hmm. You went this way. Yeah, yeah. Or yeah. You went this no. way. Well, I went. No, actually, I, I think I went more uh southeast, and I, I think, and I just happened to run into like the first um gym leader or whatever, which is like the grass type or whatever, you know, like the, the the baker, right? I think. Okay, so that. I didn't get. I went the opposite mm -hmm. because all the Pokemon there were like level fifteen and up, and I was like, "The fuck am I going?" Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, so yeah. I went, up, I went up that way to a certain point, and I was like, "Oh, I wonder what the other way is." Level fives, like there were. I was like already like level thirty, and I was like level fives, tens, some fifteens. I was like, "Oh," mm -hmm. and then Did I go? <laughs> yeah. It, it was a lot because you're you're doing the gyms, you're doing the the actual story, but also you have to also do the um, what do you call those those the school bosses or whatever the the uh, I forget what they're called, but the 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 bad student bosses or whatever you call them, <laughs> I forget their names already, but yeah, so you're dealing with like three things, which have their own separate storyline, right? It's like I don't know. Um, it had, it just, I guess it just happened to line up for me just because I already like happened to just go the right direction. But like, if you, if you go up, right, you're already like facing the big boy. So I'm like, oh, you'd be, you'd have been like, Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> you know? Yeah. But there's also like, there's also certain places though you can't really get to because you have to you have to learn your, your, what do you call it? Your, um, uh your legendary what do you want to call it uh has to learn how to climb or fly or whatever so yeah. i felt like there is that sense of restriction and leaning uh direction and making it leaner yeah. so i think that where it, that's where it draws a line but other than that if you can how 
glitch your way through it then yeah like you, then you can like you know accidentally run into like the big boys or whatever because um the early tech that i i kept using was so you have your you you have your um your writing pokemon or whatever you're writing legendary pokemon or whatever and then at least for um the scarlet one again i forget his name the red one you you go backwards right you're at you know so like your the the tail end goes up you jump backwards and somehow they can climb up. So, so I did that and that's how I was able to get to places that you, you quote unquote weren't supposed to go. So, so, cause otherwise if you face forward, you're, you're going to slip off, but there are pl yeah. certain, certain spots. Um, you can like kind of exploit that with the backwards jumping thing. Now I don't know if they patch that out eventually, but yeah, that was like the early stuff because I because I played that um on release day, and you know you know you know you know those games on release day they were like buggy as fucking hell. They were buggy, um, <laughs> Captain Buggy. Yeah. It was also like now looking back at the Pokemon, you know, Scarlet Violet. Mm -hmm. It wasn't alive, like. The world felt desolate. Mm -hmm, yeah, yeah. The the lack of life is also um was not helping. It looked like, like it looked like it, it needed work. It's like it it it, it found something, but it just couldn't. It 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 has it. a it had a foundation, but the uh the actual like. What, what do you call them? they had to flush it out more they had to flush it out more yeah. that, that was a huge issue with it i like it you need to you need to cook a little bit more. oh yeah for sure for sure like simmer, simmer, simmer. yeah they they had because those games were being pumped out like yearly hmm. on a yearly basis so that's why um something like pokemon when they were trying to do like they had the ambition right but the actual execution was bad <laughs> you know that started with um, Pokemon Legends Arceus or Arceus. Mm -hmm. Same same exact problem. Like the the idea was really cool, but the execution was the execution execution uh, could have been far better, far better. Same issue with Scarlet and Violet. Good ideas, but the execution you just need it had to be uh, in development for longer. Now. Apparently, they hmm. are trying to work on that, but we'll see, you know. But back onto this, back onto this, um, there are also some very strange things that came out from the uh, the leaks, including apparently um, scrapped ideas, in, uh, I believe, which included the whole like, um, oh, the mythology or whatever of people and Pokemon having babies together <laughs> and um that included typhlosion for some reason and that's why there were like some some memes that came out with typhlosion i was like what what are these people talking about why is typhlosion all of a sudden like popping up or whatever and then yeah i, was, I, I kind of looked into it uh ju just enough i'm like oh okay i guess there was some sort of like fan fiction <laughs> type of stuff that came out from the leak and yeah, and and the uh, you know it, it became obvious as to why it got scrapped, <laughs> you know. But yeah, it, it kind of goes to show like the the wildness that can kind kind of go on in the uh, behind the scenes when it comes to ideas for big games like this, you know. Like what if, you know, like in Tekken, like what if they were like trying to design a character that was like absolutely just fucking weird, you know, like just unhinged or whatever but i don't know maybe and then they just like went went and scrap it or whatever you know the things that we could have seen behind the scenes you know potentially but um yeah and, and so we also saw like the old stuff concept r and like just a bunch of stuff that's just now all over the internet you know so take it if you take it as you will right if you want to look into it look into it i guess it's out there but yeah um 
you know, people have been like kind of like, you know, uh, conspir coming up with conspiracies, you know, like, oh, this is part of the, uh, they're, you know, part of the reason is because of the whole thing with Power World. You know, they're Pokemon Company and Nintendo trying to sue them for patent infringement. And so, um, f fans or whoever is trying to, like, you know, retaliate or whatever by hacking and stuff. Whatever the reason may be, um, yeah, it, this could be, this could be a wake up call of sorts. And I do hope that, uh, none of those projects or whatever don't, uh, do not get canceled, you know, because that's happened because like, uh, we almost got a Zelda Netflix series, but because it, I guess it got leaked somewhere, they're like, nope, canceled. Um, that's how Nintendo operated, but let's see what, how Pokemon company does this or handles this it's yeah it's gonna be a joint a joint uh, effort of between pokemon company nintendo and game freak because some of the concept probably was gonna be used mm -hmm. or yeah and then with um, nintendo being you know pretty much the big umbrella or the big yeah. overlord just, yeah the like, overseer now and going like mm -hmm. like what the hell happened yeah yeah, because apparently, yeah, some Switch 2, the quote-unquote Switch 2 stuff has also been a part of the leak as well. So maybe, I don't know. I don't know if they'll go into, like, super hard lockdown or whatever. But yeah. Uh, but yeah, hopefully the workers themselves won't be affected too much by this uh, info leak, right? Because, yes, their information was leaked. So yeah, hopefully, like, People don't like fucking be creeps and go to their houses and be like, hey, I mean, you know, release this or whatever and stuff like that. Hey, my told that son. <laughs> can I have some leaks on this? It's like, who are you? <laughs> yeah. Or, uh, hey, uh, can you like, um, you know, make this Pokemon stronger can you, or something? <laughs> hey, know. can you, uh, can you make this Pokemon a real thing? Yeah. It's my uh, it's my OC. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah, my Pokemon OC. Here's, like, here's my here's my Pokemon design. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very uh yeah very very bad on that part for sure, you know. But, it, and of course, this has happened with other game companies, including Insomniac or Insomniac, excuse me. Um, in zombie, act. No, in zombie, I like that. I like that. In, zo in zombie, act. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's like a unintentional pun, but yeah, it kind of works somehow. <laughs> any, in, in, in any case, yeah, we'll see how they handle it, whether they cancel all those projects or not, just because it got leaked. Because that's happened yeah. before, unfortunately. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The other thing that got canceled from the Nintendo thing uh, in the past was uh, a Star Fox Netflix series, I guess. And apparently, I think it was going to do like puppets or something. I, I think I'm, I, might, I might be mistaken on that, but yeah. By the way, it's, it's... Sorry, Wolf. Sorry, Wolf. There was already some hands inside a fox. Uh, <laughs> Dad, damn it. Well, too bad. Well, too bad that uh, we will never get to see that. Oh no! How unfortunate. <laughs> Wait, you you want to see hands going into box? <laughs> oh, oh oh dear! Oh no! We don't get to see that. Oh boo hoo! <laughs> you you heard that very artist? Get on it! <laughs> God damn it! Uh, hands it's... inside of box. Yeah. So there is some. <laughs> oh, so so I think I don't know specifically if this was a part of it but uh the sequel to detective pikachu has been reported called the great detective pikachu so i'm not too sure if uh and I, this this is just like uh what do you call it? you did put this together kind of crap but anyway yeah yeah anyway but again the, it doesn't it wouldn't make sense at this point because at the end of that movie for those who watched it and I guess spoilers. Mm -hmm. This movie is old-ish. Yeah. Uh, 
Pikachu was was only able to talk because of um a certain other event because caused by a Pokemon. So it's back to a regular Pikachu just talking. And Deadpool is the owner. Yes. That's so funny. I like I, I somehow forget from time to time that Detective Pikachu was voiced by fucking um Ryan Reynolds. It's so yep. weird. Right? And then he's it fucking Deadpool. Weird. Yeah, and then that's why the uh yeah. That's why, you know, the the Deadpool stuff was I th I think it was a meme, right? With Deadpool and Pikachu being a thing or something. I I, I don't know. Oh god. Jesus the Christ. <laughs> <laughs> the ludicrous. Oh, yeah. Oh, if you think a fucking a drowsy or hypno is fucking scary, I'm that staring at you. Right. Yeah, or or Mewtwo, man. That Mewtwo was weird, man. Mewtwo was no, it was nice until they did that whole like mind mind merging whatever. Oh. And he has human teeth. Oh, that's right. That, that was But shout outs to the um artist that they got make this movie i do have one of his books oh It's probably hiding in another in another spot. But anyways, I do have his his um stuff. Mm -hmm. I do have one of his art books. Nice. That the artist that made this um that was uh, in collaboration with uh, the Pokemon um Detective Pikachu. Nice. Um yeah. So I mean yeah, yeah, it's pretty much like you were saying, like how are they gonna do the sequel? Because Pikachu is just a regular Pikachu by the end of it. So yeah. Maybe 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 uh I mean um dead de de yes, Deadpool, uh Wade Wilson uh, <laughs> um quote unquote is back to human, but maybe he'll go back to being Detective Pikachu somehow or something. I don't know. Via I don't know, some happenstance or or maybe if it is truly a sequel yeah we'll finally get danny the beetle voicing mm -hmm. pikachu yep yeah and mostly all his lines are going to be from <laughs> so, oh sunny <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> sunny <laughs> yeah you're just going to see him like on the ground covered in slime i'm beautiful mm -hmm. it's like <laughs> Yeah, that that show so is. Anyways, a, I yeah. start zapping. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, that show is a charge. For those who, yeah, mm -hmm. for those who don't know what's sunny, always sunny in Philadelphia. Go, go, fucking watch it. It's, it's one of those like, what was it made? Like mid two thousands? I th I want to say mid two thousand tens or something. Yeah, the mid two, um twenty tens uh, mm -hmm. show like, you would, just watch and give you like. Wow, you know, like some of these, the way it's structured, this the show was like, wow, this is like something I've been missing because yeah, I don't know. I grew up with like Family Matters, Golden Girls, um, mm -hmm. Married with Children, you know, those type of sitcoms. Yeah, like and, Fresh Prince. Yeah, yeah. And when um, Always Sunny in Philadelphia came came along, I was like, oh, I fucking missed this. Yeah. But I think um it was also competing, I think, with a modern family. Or oh it, yeah. I mean it was competing with a lot of like those shows like Big Big Bang Theory and all that shit. Like um Yeah. Those shows. <laughs> yeah. That, those are the more like uh normy slash mainstream shows. But uh always always sunny is like the show that doesn't like really give a crap about the correctness or whatever like like there's a scene with the the two guys like being the sheriff kids like <laughs> like come on <laughs> oh man, i i i got to that part i'm like oh my god <laughs> man that that shit that was that shit was great um, i think my most like favorite 
Well, again, with Charlie Day fucking Charlie doing Day. the whole <laughs> doing the conspiracy mm-hmm. thing. Yes. There was a fucking riot and then it became its own meme. Mm-hmm. But yeah. uh, my favorite, I guess, scene from uh, Philadelphia was um, Frank uh, cutting his nail, his toenails mm-hmm. with, with the knife. Oh, God. And he's like, ah, botch toe, botch toe. I was like, mm-hmm. I don't want to, uh, don't zoom in for the love of God camera. Do mm-hmm. not zoom in. And it did. And it's like, ah, that's it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that show, that show goes to uh, some places, man. <laughs> uh. That show, that show will test your, uh, your willpower for mm. you know like how how can you hold down your stomach because mm. there are some scenes you're like mm. right oh so sunny in philadelphia came from six and eight nine four years before modern family oh wait, what so what year exactly it came out okay so philadelphia came out august 4th 2005 modern oh, family was yes god damn was September twenty third, two thousand nine. God damn! So they've been going at it for a long time. Jesus, I I thought I like, thought it was two thousand tens, but okay, oh five, Jesus. So I guess at the same at that time frame, uh, Philadelphia was um competing against uh oh how I met your mother. Oh yeah, yeah. Same year, right? Different, um, uh, what's it called? Different month. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, in any case, if this is a thing, I mean, we'll keep an eye on it. We'll definitely keep an eye on it. But I like this meme, too. Like, it's pretty much kind of accurate. <laughs> like, the Game Freak leaker is trying to escape Nintendo, and it's basically just the clip from uh, Minus One, Godzilla Minus One, with the boat. <laughs> yeah, because... Uh, uh, I'm going to ask you, because you're, you're, you're a Godzilla fan. Yes. And what that. Okay. You're so uh scenario one, you're on the you know, you're on the high seas and yeah. Godzilla's chasing you like this. Yes. Okay, that's scenario one. Yeah. Scenario two, you're on like a regular, you know, uh airline and it's either fucking Rodan or King Ghidorah yeah. tailing your ass. Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> which scenario is more scary? <laughs> that's really hard actually, because it's like <laughs> Okay, I mean, yeah, this is Godzilla we're facing, and then, you know, that's, that's like, really shitty in that situation, but you in the air, it's like, oh, right, it's not Godzilla, but it's fucking Rodan or whatever. But you're it's in the air. Rodan right? or, yeah. or King Kidor, and you can't see them. You can only hear them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, whereas you're kind of, like, already expecting, like, Godzilla. Like, all right, you know, we see him. You see his big fucking dorsal fin. But you know, where are you, you fuck? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the other scenario, you're you're mid air, so it's like, oh my god, I don't want, I don't want that that the sense of falling or whatever. So I don't know. I guess I would pick um, the Godzilla scenario, only because I'm already like, like you not, can see it. I can you see. Can, like... Yeah, I can see it. But then yes, like my other ra- irrational fear is being out in the middle of the ocean. And stuff so i'm like oh god <laughs> no way man uh, especially at night no i'm done i'd rather just end it <laughs> right then and there <laughs> but yeah that's a that's kind of a hard scenario actually either, either way both suck like, obviously well both well, well, scenarios suck it's just that would you rather yeah it's, it's, one, it's, it's, yeah, a, it's like woo. would you rather mm-hmm yeah, I I only yeah I pick Godzilla though just to make it clear just because I can see it, right? Yeah, we can see him, but mm-hmm. he always has that chance. He's following you, and then he just goes down and then yeah, just... does the <laughs> atomic beam shit. Or at least it, well, okay, at least that part is instant. Like you're just like all right, you're you're gone. All right, that's whatever. Whereas Ghidorah, <laughs> if it, if it's Ghidorah, he'll I feel like Ghidorah will play with his food. So you're like, well, it's gonna be one of the hits. We'll play with the food, and yeah. the other two are just gonna like bicker and fight. Mm, yeah, yeah. So I, I don't want that like that 
sense of fear just being played out longer like no, that. It's like, just end us already. It's yeah. like, Nabu. <laughs> no, yeah, Nabu. <laughs> no, I'm not done with you yet. <laughs> yeah. No, that, that I think that's exactly what would happen with Ghidorah. I think Rodan would just be an accident or something, and that will like also prolong. Uh, yeah, he'll probably be an accident or just be a jackass. Yeah, or just an idiot. He'll yeah. be like flying close, like ha. Ah. Mm -hmm. ah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then the what do you call it, like the hurricane wind stuff will rock the plane, and that'll like make things scarier for a long time or longer time. And I'll eventually like, fuck up the plane or whatever. I mean, come on. Have you have you seen Rodan, the film? Like, come on, man. Like, you, you, the, the winds oh, the, that... Yeah, the like original. His, his, yeah, his original. The one from, I think, was the 60s? Yeah, 60s. That was, that was apparently the very first uh, colored film or whatever. For, at least from Toho, anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you don't fuck with... The movie, you didn't, make <laughs> the yeah. movie didn't make sense, but... Um, yeah. It was it was scary. It was scary, yeah. You don't you don't fuck with that Rodan. And it the end the ending was pretty sad though for, for Rodan. It was actually pretty sad. I'm like, oh god. <laughs> um both went down. It's like, oh. Anyway, so yeah. That that is a, this is essentially an accurate pretty me uh, pretty accurate meme. Nintendo being Godzilla. <laughs> Alright. So that's it on that for now. Uh, we'll definitely try to, um, oh, wait, I should, I should have put this together with, uh, the Heihachi thing, but, um, the Bandai Namco, uh, apparently were like not only canceling One Piece games, but I guess there was like some news about, um, how they treat their like employees when they need to like get rid of them. So they, in Japan, I guess you can't directly fire them but what they do to make them quit apparently is to put them into expulsion rooms quote unquote um reportedly obviously so we don't know like 100 percent but it's reported that they put the put the put their employees into these expulsion rooms which essentially sounds like solitary confinement so that means you can't have anything with you and eventually i guess that will make them quit out of just pressuring them. So this is some like weird fucking wild shit if this is true. But I guess, you know, like different countries have different ways to deal with their stuff. And this is how Japan does it, apparently. Or at least Bandai Namco. Um, yeah, so this came into light after or during the, the, <clears throat> the news of, um, you know, the, the multiple games being canceled or whatever. So, uh, any comment on that? That's a sh anyway. Yeah, absolutely. For sure. But see, like, I guess in American culture, there are some people that will like, maybe welcome this type of shit you know with open arms because you know depending on your job like retail i think a lot of people would love to have that one room to themselves to just get away from you know dealing with customers that's what i think but then you know you'll they'll slowly like go like hey why ain't i actually doing you know what they're hiring me for mm -hmm. yeah yeah i mean i think you still get paid the thing is, is that, yeah, you can't do anything. Like, you cannot do anything. Like, you're not really working. You're just... Yeah, you're not being productive. You're yeah. just there. Yeah, they, they're they literally putting you into, like, a empty room. It's solitary confinement, pretty much. So, uh, and people, like... Some people in the comments are like, Oh, so you get to chill for eight hours? Man, that sounds, that sounds like a solid gig or whatever. It's like, uh, you're kind of yeah, missing they, the point. Yeah, it's like, it's, <laughs> It's like no, this is <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, if there are it's like it yeah. sounds, it sounds good on you the know, surface, on paper, but yeah. doing the yeah, when it's you like, break it down, yeah. And maybe, I mean, maybe there are people who just are unproductive and they're just willing to sit there for like hours and hours to get and get paid for it. But 
uh, I think most people will, will eventually just crack. Like, you just, they just want to, like, just leave. You know? People, will, I'm I sure, will, will be a good productive like a protective room or something like this is um i forgot what they're called it's but it's pretty much like you know those destroy rooms that you just break shit to just uh, oh oh like you know. yeah yeah like do you know how many people in retail would love to have that room yeah yeah that would be a pretty interesting uh, way to incorporate that somehow without obviously like you know um, making it a liability but I don't know <laughs> but this is yeah this is a, one of those strange things um, you know that happen in, happens in foreign countries and so happens yep. to be Japan and Bandai Namco right um, yeah See, I don't know how they would, how Nintendo would do it. Like, you know, there's no like report on that one. Maybe they have a similar tactic, but a little more tasteful or something. I don't know. But yeah, uh, I would say, yeah, um, someone put up a poll and obviously more, most people are saying like th that's an unethical practice, but I would say it needs more investigation. I want to see what, what's really what, you know, but I don't want to just like say like this is happening and yeah and take it for what it take it um at face value yeah. yeah but conceptually yeah that's that is strange and i would not feel comfortable with that conceptually yeah. what's also uh uncomforting in this sense uh is the one piece anime going on hiatus did you hear about this um i haven't okay <laughs> you may or may not disagree about this okay i think it's good they're going on hiatus to because you know they've been pumping out shit like the studio yes on a weekly so, basis so, yes so fucking they deserve the break mm -hmm. two they're not going to get that gentama treatment shit where you know the anime is going to go ahead of the manga again and mm -hmm. then manga has to catch up and then all of a sudden they're deviating so mm -hmm. once i yes let the hiatus happen so the manga can you know go a little bit further ahead um yeah and uh isn't like um isn't oda-san like not even in his studio right now he's like actually overseeing um season the production of season two i i, I have no idea I have no idea. But let, let, let's just be kind of like realistic that okay. he wants to be, you know, hands on okay. with, with the project. So because Oda is like not in the studio producing more stuff for the anime to cons you know, right. to consume and whatnot. Good. Everyone has their little breaks. Mm hmm. Now, yeah. the bad side is. What do you <laughs> yeah no no that's yeah no obviously obviously there's good sides and bad sides to it obviously right yeah. um yeah like and it's like you said like it, this is a good opportunity for people to take a break like you know the staff the voice actors the creator of course with oda-san like oda-san's been taking you know uh breaks uh quote-unquote numerous times but um uh, let me see where, where's it oh, i was gonna open all the tabs meanwhile but um Somebody counted it or whatever, I think. I think I put it in here. Um, okay, yeah, there we go. Oda has taken just 179 breaks in 27 years out of the 130 chapters. That's only three years and five months of the rest of, of rest in nearly three decades of grinding. His dedication is absolutely unreal. So, yeah. Yep. So I would say that's a, I would say overall, this is a good thing, right? But there are also some bad sides to it, obviously, because that means there's no one piece for until uh what, what was the what was it? Oh yeah, April of twenty twenty five. That's not even like that 
that bad. Like, it's not that. It's not that no, bad. But, no, you know there are the people being dramatic. Oh yeah, oh yeah, like this, <laughs> like this, pretty much like this, like this meme right here that someone dropped with the scene from Attack on Titans. And to which, again, like this is also a good opportunity for those that wants to binge binge watch mm -hmm. One Piece. Yes, and there is a episode watch like for each arc mm -hmm. so you don't have to um get sucked into the the fillers but to yeah me, the thing, to me is is canon because they're, they're they're fun and but yeah i wouldn't be able not all of the fillers are really good mm -hmm. <laughs> and here's the thing so okay for so, for those who are like oh my god i need more one piece so what's happening is they're going to do a, what's called a One Piece anime remaster, uh, also under the title of a special edit version, which means they'll remaster the visuals, uh, visual fil more visual filters, I guess, for Wano, condensed episodes, kind of like One Piece, for those who do consume One Piece. Uh, they'll redub it, I guess, in Dolby, or at least remaster in Dolby audio. And then um, uh, they will cover the Fishman Island arc um, across the next months. So you can kind of see the difference already with a sneak peek. So they, so you can see them <laughs> side by side. So this is the past broadcast. It's the first first release. And on the right, this is the new edition. So you, you can definitely see like the, the deeper line art, more shadows, you know, that like glow or bloom. You know, it looks better. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna. So the first comment, some motherfucker is gonna say the old version better. I'm that. I'm one of those motherfuckers because you know why? It's a progression. It's an art progression mm -hmm. from season one mm -hmm. until Wano. You do see that art progression because you show now the new edition. Mm -hmm. And let's just say someone jumps into it right now when they have the new edition. It's like wow, the you know the animation is all beautiful and nice. It's like, oh no, that 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 ain't the original. Like that's not the original script. <laughs> oh no, that that's the edited. Mm -hmm. So I'm one of those motherfuckers that loves to see like, oh, I'm gonna kick my ass later after seeing this. The crude <laughs> animation drawing mm -hmm. from season <laughs> from arc one. All and then and then all the way to yes to um, Wano. No, like I I love that as a person that loves art. I love I love seeing that progression. It's like oh you you can see the improvement. Mm -hmm. You know slowly. I'm a, yeah I'm a little more on the opposite <laughs> because I want to see certain arcs being getting that treatment because I feel like something like a, a whole cake deserves that treatment. But whole cake. Oh, fucking Doflamingo. No, the Doflamingo shit, yeah. Absolutely. That, I, think that, I think that... I think... Mm -hmm. Like, I'm okay, I'm okay with, that. like, you know, Alabasta being old or whatever. Like, that same same old whatever. And then, like, uh, what do you call it? Skypea being kind of that old, same old shit. Yeah. But when it comes to Fishman, the, uh, what do you call it? The, uh, the, the, the initial time skip arc, when they actually got back together. Like, this part, right? This part. Um, the Doflamingo okay. shit, and then Tum Punk Hazard, all that stuff. I I think those deserve the uh the treatment. They deserve, yeah, they, they deserve the treatment. Yes. Okay, so let's let's do that. What stays in the past broadcast version, and then what needs the new edition? So what needs it is uh th this part the sub sh the Shaboni whatever uh the Fishman arc. I think it was Punk Hazard. Yeah, and then um, the, what do you call it? Dress Rosa? Whole, whole Cake, absolutely. I think Whole Cake deserves that treatment. Um, And then I think that's it, right? Because they go to Wano. Yeah. So those okay. those five. Absolutely. Absolutely. I want to add um, that with the new, um, you know, the new edition and stuff. Hmm. The uh, the arc 
that would look really nice in the new edition hmm. to me is Asia, uh, the Ace Trial arc from the Impale the, Down, the white the white beard the way, war yeah the white beard stuff yeah, yeah no, all the way uh, to the the marine fold um fucking um battle like yeah that, that one oh shit will be mm-hmm. lovely in this yeah and then yeah oh yeah and then also impaled down why not right yeah, uh, yeah. those parts i think that yeah definitely de- deserve that justice as well absolutely because that is a huge like event because that, that's why the time skip happened because of that shit so yeah i think absolutely i do agree on that too but i think yeah like you're kind of saying with the past that past broadcast stuff some the rest of those arcs kind of should stay like that because then it makes it a little less special right because you get to see that that magical like blow up of these arcs or whatever you know and that's that's and that's why like i do understand like i that's why i see wano being really special because of that glow up that sense of like wow like they really improve the animation stuff you know but now like yeah if every arc will get the new edition treatment then it's like the whole like incredibles line where it's like you know with syndrome you know if everyone's super no one will be right so one will just be another arc um in the visual department you know so i i get it but yeah uh and it is more obviously with more shots like yeah even like I didn't even think about it, but like, yeah, like the NPC. I, I I know it's weird to call them NPCs, NPCs. but yeah, but like the yeah, even Back, the background characters, background characters, also are getting that treatment too. It's not just the main characters. Yeah, that would be weird otherwise. Yeah, no, um, I I think this is nice, right? You know, without completely like destroying like you know the frames or whatever, right? the frames and i guess it's for me like the new edition it's just more of like i don't want it like you know like how um there are the 90s um animes we grew up and then there's the blu-ray edition and mm-hmm. you look at those blu-ray editions and you're like the fuck yes yeah, yeah not not every like blu-ray quote-unquote edition does it justice but sometimes yeah. they overdo it and they, they wind up fucking it up they made it yeah so, so like to me my biggest blu-ray like holy crap this looks ugly is g gundam oh (laughs) they made it look too smooth like Mm -hmm. yes like holy crap and it just loses what how g G gundam was drawn like it was like you know you could see the little like sketches on the hands and some parts of it's like Mm -hmm. that's what makes this a timeless piece is because they had that you know those little those little things that yes. made it like wow and then when you look at the blu-ray edition it's like ooh, yeah it looks a little more sterile doesn't it <laughs> it's like you're you're too clean yeah too clean yeah so go 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 jump in a in a in a puddle of mud please yeah <laughs> yeah you know i get it get get get, get, get dirty yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, do do some do some work. Go, go go get like sweaty or something. Then you can come back and you know, yeah, not but yeah, and and these shots though, yes, it does kind of deserve yeah. it, especially like yeah, like Zoro, like first time sh- yeah. you know you you see him first time with his time skip outfit or drip or whatever you want to call it, um, like yeah, this part like when I first looked at that looked at this, I'm like, you know, something could have used more, and yeah, now like yeah, you know. Because, yeah, because now when you put it side by side, yeah, past broadcast, I'm sorry. I'm not calling the studio that made this bad, but it's flat. Yeah, it definitely is flat, for sure. It's like, it's like um, the, for those who, you know, are artists, this this looks like, you know, the part you're putting just the foundation. You didn't put any shading. You mm. didn't put any shadows. You just put, like, the necessary, like, pieces going, like, okay, this is where my shadow is going to be. Mm. So I'm gonna, highlight it a little bit more later but you know i'm just putting like pieces yeah like look at the line art man it's so flat like no like it doesn't have uh it has little character to it and they even it changed... has little character and mm. there's no like um differentiation like mm. how 
I used to do my outlines is depending how close mm -hmm. the object is to the um to the foreground mm -hmm. that's where i made it more bolder and sharp and then yes. where it is like away from you that's where i made it like yeah yeah um, yeah, yeah what you might call it thinner yeah, yeah you so there's more sense of that separation yeah i get it yeah instead of like just one like line like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but again it, it it's a it's a technique you have to figure out just that was my technique yeah when i used to draw yeah of course to be fair you know in the in the past they were on crunch time you know it crunch was time, i'm pretty sure yep. mm -hmm. but now they have like a more better workflow and probably just like more people in general um who are just willing to put the effort and stuff now they can go back and be like yeah we can improve on this and stuff because you can see like yeah like more lines on the neck more shadows more detail in the eyes right you know more um you know more sketches like on the collar mm -hmm, the collar his his chin his jawline more pronounced um it's, depth, depth from the eyebrow and mm -hmm. the eye socket mm -hmm. the, the, yeah exactly the, the the death of the eyes yeah even his hair is a little different too it's more spiky on the uh new it's edition more spiky and it's more um uh the color is more um, pro profound yeah more yes yeah right for, for his hair his this, green yeah or... again this was supposed to be a big moment because yeah this is our first time seeing zoro in in quote unquote two years right quote unquote right and yeah look how flat it came out at the time and then now like yeah you can even see like you know how flat it has been more become right it's more apparent you know and of course this, this, is, my, this is my boy you know so i gotta i gotta be more a little more hot on that you're right you know same, same with Sanji, right? This is this is a little more samey same because yeah, but it just looks like here, like yeah, you know, they just touch up the shadows, obviously, but like the thicker th the thicker line, right? The hair is a little different, obviously, but in that yeah, like the composition is still the same, blah blah blah, but yeah, little little. Uh, tune up on the eyes or the or excuse me eye right um i think it was i think it was more but i think mm, okay well we, we get the picture we get the gist of it right uh oh yeah so there's more right more stuff yeah they just they put more color more of that bloom uh more shadow obviously more variation mm right i i would have to see that in motion to really judge on that on these yeah. parts right yeah this stuff right yeah more of zoro's like uh eye right when he was coming uh when he popped out from the what he called he was like on the ship he somehow pops out of the <laughs> from the from the water you know um yeah and this is the i guess the poster for um the special edited version of fishman arc so yeah hopefully um it'll be consistent throughout those um special edits and uh let me see if there's anything else going on with that uh Okay. Looks like that's something else. Oh my god, is that an actual sword? Yo. <laughs> sword. The, the, that's the Wado Ichimonji, man. Oh man. <laughs> oh man, I'm so tempted. How much is it? How much? <laughs> uh let me see. Arm and a leg. Okay, got it. <laughs> um I don't doesn't not say. Let me see. Let's go. Ooh. Uh what? I'm just gonna just cl close it. Okay. Um. Skip. Skip. God damn it! <laughs> it won't let me. Okay, there we go. 
Whoa, look at look at what? the... I, uh, Whoa, sailor... I can be Whoa. a sailor scout? Oh, I can be anime girl. I can be this guy from Jujutsu Kaisen. Dude, that's a lot of shit. <laughs> Should I go to brands? Uh... Okay, so it's loading. Oh my god. So what was it? Oh yeah, it was proper. It's prop lick, prop lika, prop lika, prop lika, prop lika. Oh my god, they got the master sword from the Breath of the Wild part. That's kind of cool. Um, let me see. Oh yeah, there's the the wand. Uh okay, there. So if we're gonna go with Tenzal Getsu from Blotch. Oh, it's like right, so... that was around two hundred bucks. That's not bad. Oh, initial yeah. cost, yeah. I mean, but should be info. But we, we don't care about that. So let's keep going down. Yes. Oh my God! Look at the Sailor Moon stuff, though. Jesus, internal moon. You know, cosmic remind heart. me not to show show this to my boyfriend. He would <laughs> be like, "I want this for my for our anniversary." He's like. The fuck you is? Yeah. <laughs> Where? Oh, I guess we we won't see Wado Ichimonji just because it's all the dra the Dragon Ball radar, the Dragon radar. That's funny. How much is it? Oh, that's not bad. It's like thirty bucks. It's like a little little thirty toy. bucks, but it's gonna be a, like a hundred dollars for shipping it. <laughs> Probably right. That's that's why you gotta go through um Zen Market to kind of alleviate that a little bit. Man, yeah. Where's the uh, is his schedule? Come on. Oh, these are like fake. Okay, this is like everything. Okay, never mind. Oh my god, that legendary Mega Godzilla one. Jeez. A lot, a lot, of, Peter, a lot of common Peter writers. Peter Parker and Mayday. Mm -hmm. The Peter Parker and Mayday. Where? From the Spider. -Man. Oh. Yeah. I want that. Damn. Rubik's Cube. Yeah. Wow, Rubik's Cube? Oh. An actual Rubik's Cube? Oh, like Jesus. Mecca? People still remember fucking Saint Seiya. Oh, yeah, of course. Of course, man. All right. Uh, let's not get lost in this rabbit hole. Uh, I don't think there's a price on it just yet. Let me try and go $1. again and see if we can... Okay, never mind. It looks like it looks like we won't be able to access to it for now. But anyway, so um, distractions aside, I think overall it is a good thing because everyone can take a break. So people like um, Luffy's voice actress uh, Mayumi Tanaka-san, uh, including Stussy and Perona's voice actresses, have been going through going to like a dance club of sorts, a senior dance club. And they've been trying to like keep up their health, enjoying their time. So that's pretty nice. That's cool. Right? And no, everyone, this is not an odd thing in Japan. This is actually like pretty what common to see um um the elderly um folks either be in like dance clubs or doing their tai chi. Yeah, tai chi or like um uh uh radio what do you call those like uh, radio uh, radio aerobics. exercises yeah, radio aerobics yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah like um well it's called well, it's called a uh, uh Lajo, uh taiso i think Lajo taiso radio yeah, cause, exercise um, yeah because when my friends went to uh japan mm -hmm. one of their mornings like they i guess they caught it uh -huh. like, at the start and they just started to do like that in their in their hotel room because mm -hmm. i guess the hotel they were staying um where the lobby area there was like it they say it was loud it was loud enough for they to hear it on the fourth floor mm. so so you know they're like oh mm -hmm. and someone in the group like is fluent in japanese so he was just translating okay everyone up down mm -hmm. up down mm -hmm. turn mm -hmm. turn mm -hmm. and they said they said after they did that morning exercise, they were like, they were active. They were wired. Yeah, like, you're you're wow. invigorated. Yeah, yeah, invigorated. Yeah, they yeah. were like, wow, we should do 
oh, we should do exercises like this, you know, back at home. And I was like, because, you know, they were talking to me while doing this. And I was like, you guys ain't going to do this. Yeah, I know. It's we're, we're too, <laughs> it's we're like, too, he's like, he's we're like, too American, man. We're too lazy. <laughs> I was like, he's like, you guys are liars. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I remember uh, watching. Like, oh, oh, wait, 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 go ahead. No, I was coughing. Sorry. Oh, okay. Um, I remember watching in college, uh, in a engineering class because we were like kind of talking about Toyota because Toyota also does their like radio, like radio warm up exercises. And that was like their like tradition, uh, in a sense in their, uh, workflow. And what that does, of course, it, it, it wakes them up, it invigorates them for the day. And, um, that's how they are able to do, you know, the productive work because of, uh, you know, one of them being like the radio exercise warm-ups and um and they were trying to incorporate that into um the toyota like factories in america and they were kind of like uh it was kind of you know it's one of those like based off of true, true story type of docu films and um you know the americans were obviously were like what the fuck is this like what what, what is this what what are we do what, what are we doing this like this is like a waste of time like you know and stuff like that but you know that's kind of like showing like the reactions right of americans seeing japanese culture and how they like took that at first but then i guess apparently they started doing it and now they're like you know doing it right like it's like it's part of the repertoire and stuff like that because you know it, it just goes to show like how like you know cultures and beliefs and all that stuff is very different from you know place to place and uh you know japanese are you know they are very attentive of their health right so that's why they have you know like the older people doing this stuff like the dance clubs and the, the these like sort of light exercises if you will to like just not, not to like you know um get muscular or something or whatever necessarily but you know just to keep up their health their heart and and all that stuff and that's why people like you know the voice actors here are doing this so that yeah they can stay healthy and stuff because yeah you know if you're just like voice acting all the time right that's um you know it, it might do a, it might do a number on you right so that's why I think like doing stuff like this, you know, like taking breaks and stuff like that is pretty important, right? So that's why I think it's really good overall that One Piece is doing their their big break, right? Their big hiatus. And I think even then it's like not that big. Like it, they're coming back in um April 20, uh, 2025. That that's going to like pop up like fast. You know. Especially with how much shit we have to consume nowadays. You know, and again, like they're going to do the special edit um, versions. So that'll be something to, f to hold One Piece fans over. Right. With that alone. Um, yeah. So uh, my 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 biggest complaint, too, for One Piece was always the fact that they were pumping out those episodes weekly. Whereas, you know, whenever you see like animes that don't do that, they have like se actual seasons <laughs> If you notice their quality, yeah. right, they're more likely to be higher, right? Whereas One Piece, you know, they're kind of like stuck in that sort of um, the weekly loop. And that is why a lot of those episodes were like kind of flat, you know, hence like um, all those screenshots here, including this, you know. So I think, that, yeah, um, as people, as much people will want to say like, like, oh, my God, the, you know, when I, I'm not gonna have one piece for this many months or whatever, you know. Um, I I think it was needed. I think it was needed. So they can come back with full force, and by the time it comes out, right, they continue egghead or whatever. Um, the quality is good, for sure. So yeah, big break. Obviously, big news for One Piece fans. But yeah, 2025 is going to be big for One Piece fans because we're we do st still have the uh, l the live action stuff to look forward to, right? Yeah. And then yeah, all the and then don't forget we have the anime remake, right? Which is not you know a part of the special edit stuff. They have their own remake going on as well. I believe that's coming out next year. 
So yeah, we have plenty of One Piece stuff coming. Right. Just gotta be patient. Be patient. Take a little break. Go watch something else. Meanwhile, you know. And uh, yeah, we'll go watch your go watch your um, hentai's and hentai. movies. <laughs> yeah. All right. So that's happening. Meanwhile, on uh, Twitter slash X, unfortunate uh, news here for those who are you know have have been using X for a long time or excuse me uh, Twitter. Um. So Elon Musk and his uh, little little posse, right, decided that uh, this was a good idea of implementing a change to how the block function works. So basically it says here, if your posts are set to public, accounts you have blocked will be able to view them, but they're not able to engage them, like like, replying, reposting, etc. Uh, today, block can be used by users to share, hide, and uh, share and hide harmful and private information about those they blocked. Users will be able to see if uh, such behavior occurs with this update, allowing for greater transparency. So that was their intention, right? But I think overall, this is a terrible change just because we use the block button to just literally block those terrible people. Like, we don't want to see them, like, specifically, right? You know? We don't want them just period, right? Away, go away. You know, that's the whole idea of a block button. But yeah, man, it is mm -hmm. in the uh, terms of service or agreement between, you know, um, the Google Play Store and Apple Store that, yeah. Yeah. You, <laughs> you can, you can do that. Yeah. There has to be a block feature. Mm-hmm. That works. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it says it right here uh, in the screenshot. So yeah, the ability to block abusive users from the service, providing a in-app system for blocking UGC and users. So yeah, so basically, basically this meme, this stupid meme um, does kind of sum it up a little, <laughs> quite a bit. Yeah. Yeah. And then, and then the other like part of the one-two punch that uh, so most. Musk is yeah. fucking doing. Mm -hmm. Is doing is the uh, the uh, fucking X is now a full on AI training battleground. Mm, right. Yeah. So to make the sum of it, uh, users' posts will be used for AI training and development. There mm -hmm. is no option to out to you know to to request to oh. not be part of this um, data usage. Mm -hmm. And since the platform ha has a global non-exclusive license to use, it will it can use and modify the content to fucking whatever it pleases. Mm -hmm. uh, content can be shared with third parties for AI development. So for more AI development, and the change will take effect on November fifteenth this year. Really? Yep. So um. There's been a lot of like, uh, oh yeah, this is my Blue Sky account um, kind of posts. Yeah. So yeah, like more, it seems like a, a lot, a number of artists, I don't want to say all of them, but a number of artists are going to make uh, what appears to be the move, right? The the, the permanent move. But, um, you know, that is to be seen, right? But I mean, uh, right now, there's, yeah. there's a lot of the artists I follow, including um, Hungry Clicker that's on um that's on blue sky yes yeah those those artists yes they already have it set up it's just a matter of like just actually like just not posting on x anymore or twitter and then there was already like um a, a post both on x and on um blue sky that there was an influx of um you know people coming in mm-hmm Blue Sky and it's like it's like I wonder why kids I wonder why yeah yeah and Blue Sky is still like uh you know it's still relatively new so that's why like uh, yeah it, it's still in the baby phase yeah but it, it's much better than what people are saying when it was first uh you know 
uh, yes. put out. Yes. The only thing that it needs to improve at the moment because it can only do 50 megabytes, I think, for video content. Uh huh. Yeah. Is to just bump that up. Yeah. And, you know, that's it. Like, mm-hmm. it's, it's not nothing major. Mm hmm. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Every other. Every other function is okay. It's just, um, I guess it's still user, not user friendly because, you know, there's the discover and then whatever Mm -hmm. other, um, um, other stuff that you're into will have its own little tabs. Yes. And whatnot. Mm hmm. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I mean, there is a little bit of silver lining in a sense because, okay, so it can kind of the block button thing can kind of go both ways where those bad people can block a lot of people and then they can just hide what they post. And, um, but, but with this, right, they can't really do that. So they can still see their posts, right? And people can take screenshots and then they'll put that as like, you know, the, oh, this is the evidence, blah, blah, blah. And they're like the, the, their little videos or posts or whatever they want to do with them. That's the only like sort of silver lining I can kind of see. But overall, I think it's it's just not worth it. The, the trouble, you know, because the point of the block button is just like, all right, you go away. I want you ever in my posts. I want you. Ever, I don't want to ever see your name again. You know, go away. Right, that was the whole point yeah, of it. It's pretty mm-hmm. much like I don't want to deal with you. I don't want to see you. Mm-hmm. Bye. Bye. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, um, granted, yeah, they they can't comment. They can't comment on your posts or anything like that. But the fact that they can they can see what you're doing, they can still see mm-hmm. what you're doing. It, it just opens the door again to like the stalkers. Going, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, my time has come. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But again, like, um, it goes both ways. Yes. Yeah. So people can't hide what they post, right? But they can also see, you know, like what they're um like if they're if they're if they're stalking somebody, they can they they can see what they're doing and all that stuff and be creeps about it and of course you don't even know it because yeah they're not commenting or whatever the fuck or you know whatever else so i don't know it's like it's it's weird i don't know why they they're they just thought this was a a good idea because um yeah to me the block button is like yeah I, i don't want them to see my shit you know that's the whole point. And they're fucking that up somehow. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I think Omni said the same thing. Yes, yeah, I think this is pretty much um the same exact post, essentially. Okay, so hopefully Apple and um, the Apple Store or App Store and uh, the Google Store can be like, hey, um, yeah, you you can't you can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> you need to change the block button back. But we'll see. That is to be seen. Okay. Um. So, next up, and lastly, I no, uh, almost lastly, this involves with Asmongold. So, Asmongold, for those who don't know, is a very popular streamer. He does a lot of React content has a lot of usually has a lot of interesting takes and uh i do agree on a lot of his takes but this time around this is an ex- this is an exception a hard exception because of what he said about um with um a certain culture so he was covering the um the palestine stuff right and we know what's going on you know I think most of us know what's going on with that stuff. The Israeli and the Palestine and Gaza and the whole Hamas thing too. Um, that whole stuff. Basically, his comment was along the lines of like, um, I forget who was. Uh, um, 
I forget who was attacking who in that instance, but I, I'm going to assume it was Israeli attacking um, or bombing uh, people in Gaza or whatever. Mm-hmm. And Asimov's goal was essentially saying along the lines of like, all right, yeah, good, good, because Gaza has an inferior culture or whatever, blah, 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 and stuff like that. And um, people did not like that, obviously. Like, that, it was universally, like, panned or, like, no. Like, that, that, that is absolutely a terrible thing to say, right? Because um, what he was essentially doing was he was lumping the, um, the religious extremists, right, with the rest of everyone, right, the rest of the people. Um, because yes, like that's going on that, that, that part is going on with the extremism of like, you know, um, of how they treat women, how they treat, the you know, gay people, how, you know, you know, stuff like that. Right. And, um, in the past, though, as we go pointing those things out, right. Specifically, like, you know, the of how extremists treat women and, and different people, let's just say, right? Yep. And, um, you know, no one commented on that. Like, no one negative commented on that, right? In the past. But because of what now he's saying, like, no, like, it's like, it's like instead of like, oh, th- instead of th- this, these group of people are, have terrible culture, he kind of just said everybody in that culture is bad or whatever. So he, you know, again, so he's essentially... Yeah lumping everybody for whatever reason yeah. i don't know why he said it like that but um he <laughs> right he was an idiot yeah he, he and he pretty much admitted that like he, he he made a 20 minute video about it like um saying that what he said was terrible he went over like his reasoning all that stuff and midst of that he got suspended from twitch for 14 days right and even asmins himself said um, oh, I already put it out. He said, Twitch is really bad and inconsistent with bans, right? Simply put, you know, you know, that, 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 that part is true, right? Because we've seen time and time and time and time again that Twitch plays like favoritisms a lot because a lot of those people that get banned for like, what, three days or seven days or whatever, because... They bring in the money. They bring in the ad revenue and stuff, and Twitch gets a big cut of that, right? Um, although although there are a few exceptions, right? With Doc, right? It looks like you know I don't know that whole shit with Doc. Anyway, for the most part, yes, they are inconsistent. They're terrible with these bands, of course, because of money. Again, once again, Advent Gold, you know, has a agreeable take on that. But yeah, it's overall um, the sort of the Palestine whatever uh, situation. That part is where yes, everyone was like, yeah, Asmongold. That that was a terrible thing to say. And again, yes, he's apologized for it, and he's going to take the time, you know, the, of a of the fourteen days or whatever, and maybe I don't know, even more time, maybe I don't know, um, to refresh himself and try to like just, you know see how he can do things differently like he's trying to like you know change up how he approaches things now um and of course yeah there there are the people who you know um don't agree with him but there are still people who defend him for that you know there's always that stuff by the way he apologized for it he admits that it's wrong so yeah obviously that was the wrong thing right um, anything you, you wanted to add on or anything you wanted to say, comment on the situation? It, it was more of people saying that, yeah, he can use the 14 days to clean up his, his house. And all. Yes. Yeah, don't, don't, <laughs> don't shoot for the moon, honey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, he, he did mention that and he said that he wanted to do it himself because, um, it's a, it's like a, a way to, it's a part of his, like his sort of, um, uh, I, what do you, what's the what's the exact work for it? Um, to help, like I guess, 
feel the change, right? Like he he actually wants to be a part of the change instead of just like hiring a, a cleaner and then okay, you know, that's it. Like he wants to do it himself, which I mean, yeah, yeah I'll, I'll give it to him if he does it, of course, right? You know, yep. right? And he even said, he pointed that himself, like, you know, my apology will not, you know, change things really. Like it's my actions that will actually do it. So, yeah, I mean, you know, if he can follow through with all that stuff, then hey, good on him, right? That that remains to be seen, you know. I Yeah, you know, um, I think a lot of it, what it was is that, you know, he was so like in tune with what he's been doing and stuff like that, mm -hmm. which is, you know, rage bait content, stuff like that. And um, a lot of the stuff he says in the past has been disagreeable, right? A lot of people disagree with what he said in the past, right? But it's always like, that's like the reality that, you know, like, so, you know, a lot of people have seen him as like the, the red pill taker or whatever, right? Because he um, says those things and, you know, that and, and, and therefore he, 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 he's based or whatever, right? But he let that uh, slip up, right, by saying those things about, you know, uh, Gaza, the, that situation, right? You know, it's like, okay, um, I get what he's coming from, right? Because he has said something in the past about that. But he went overboard with it, I think. Um, I I don't I forget what the where the exact video was. I thought I had it, but yeah. Um, there might there might be one somewhere. There might be a thing. Um, let me see. Excuse. Yeah. Uh, um. Hold on. It, it might be on Dexter, though, but yeah. Um, but basically, uh, oh yeah, few things, right? His um alternate Twitch channel is what's banned, not his actual like main Twitch channel or whatever, or his or, or his like actual thing, is what I heard. So there's 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 that kind of like the catch to it. Or caveat. But either way, he, um, yes. Okay, so uh, Starforce PCs, which was like the company that was like, I guess, partnered with Asmongold and OTK. And they, you know, Starforce is one of those like companies that build PCs and stuff. Mm -hmm. They have uh, mutually agreed to part ways. So Asmongold like stepped away from uh, this. Mm -hmm. And not only that, he also stepped away from OTK. And OTK is that big streaming team, right? With like Tectone and a lot of those big people on, on streaming. And uh, he also stepped away from that. So I don't know if, how long he'll stay away for or if it's like permanent or if it's just temporary. I don't know. But he stepped away either way. So there's that too. Um... Let me see. It might be here. Um, hmm, okay. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot going on, I guess, but yeah. Brrr, um, it is quite the situation, though, because, yeah, that means, uh, yes, Asmongold won't be creating content for at least 14 days. We don't know if he'll actually just come back right after the 14 days. He might even take a longer break than that to, like, you know, sort of um, find his grounding again and how he'll, like, approach things. I mean, you know, like, there's always a possibility of him just going exactly... Um, or pretty pretty much like he'll 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 like go back to his old ways, right? There's always that possibility. Is what I'm trying to say. And uh, people will just forget about it, you know. But um, whatever the case may be, um, at least he'll have a chance to, I guess, uh, try to clean up clean up his room. So. <laughs>
Yeah. Uh, maybe we'll find it on YouTube. Let me see. Yeah, there we go. Palestine clip. <laughs> it's kind of wild or funny. Okay. So... If you want to consider a genocide as a systematic killing of a group of people, they have genocide built into Sharia law right now. So no, I'm not going to cry a fucking river when people who have genocide that's baked into their laws are getting genocided. I don't give a fuck. They're terrible people. It's not even a question. It's crazy that people don't see it that way. They'd be doing the same thing. Mm. And how much did they kill? As many as they can. They're not able to kill as many people as Israel because they don't have as many bombs and as many weapons. But if they did, they'd be doing the same thing. That's it. Just takes enough. That's right. These people are not your allies. They are not the same as us. They come from an inferior culture that is horrible. It kills people for their identity and it is directly antithetical to everything Western values stand for. And it is an inferior culture in all ways. It is that simple. No, I don't feel bad for them. I don't feel sorry for them. I don't care. I don't support them. So yes, that's, yeah, that it. essentially that was the clip that uh, blew up that whole thing pretty much. So, yeah. Yeah, pa yeah, yeah, the whole thing with Palestinians coming from a inferior culture thing, yeah. So, yeah, that's that's what happened. That's what happened. Yeah, I'm I'm surprised he only got 14 days, man. But you know, even Asmund Golden said himself, like that's yeah, their ban is like very inconsistent. So, all right. If you have, we if you don't have any more comments, we will definitely uh, head on over to the last thing, to uh, frontline. Uh, okay, so FT the FTC finalized a rule that involves with the click to cancel thing, so which basically means uh, sub subscription services, including gym memberships, will be required to offer one click to cancel, right? With the new rule rule takes in, in effect uh, 180 days after being published so uh from what that sounds like right um well okay so in the past a lot of companies like gym memberships yes have made it really hard to cancel any plans right um that would also include of course adobe right because adobe loves to slap you with the uh the whole like oh yeah here's a cancellation fee and it's like what hundreds of dollars or some shit we i, yep. I believe we talked about it that specifically so this is a big w uh potentially because yeah the ftc made it so that you have to make it simple for people to for consumers to um cancel right can't make it hard anymore because of course companies want to keep people as much as possible for money right yep. yep so my big hope from this whole thing is that yes uh that adobe is affected by this rule as well and they have to be like okay we gotta let you go if you don't like our service right instead of like oh but if you cancel you gotta pay this fucking uh cancellation fee so do you want to cancel hmm or, or uh, you can stay with us and keep using our service right Bad. Yeah, it's really no, it's really fucking bad. Uh, yeah. Apparently, uh, some gyms, holy shit, have exit interviews. Shh. Exit interviews. 
Yeah. <laughs> I was just like, what the fuck? That's that's really weird. For me, uh, when I canceled my gym membership, um, I had to like, uh, oh yeah, I had to sign out, sign out like a letter or something. Like, it's really kind of weird, but it was still like not that hard, but still like the fact that I can't just like cancel, it was like, it's dumb. Yeah. yeah, at least with uh, Netflix, I'll give them that. Like, I'll give them the credit where they 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 do like simplify the cancellation process. Like, I just was uh, I just cancel my shit, right? Um, I think I think the same w went with uh, Disney Plus uh, when I canceled that one as well as well as uh, Max or HBO Max. It's not like. Oh, but if you cancel, you gotta pay this fucking fee, or uh, we we require for you to sign out uh, after reading this letter, or like whatever the fuck, right? Or it's like we require. Why did you? Why are you canceling? Yeah, what yeah, did yeah. we do wrong? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what did we do wrong? With exactly. Everything. Yeah. It's um, yeah. It's a problem for a number number of those companies especially adobe so hopefully um this rule will also apply to adobe and um they comply to it yeah so all right i believe that's it that is it for the front line uh we're gonna head on over to the um second half of the docket but before we do that, uh, I actually gotta go, go use the bathroom. So we're gonna take a little bathroom break. Pee in a park. Uh, in the park. <laughs> Pee in a cup. <laughs> Pee in a park. Pee. Yes. You heard it from Zawa. Go be in a park, guys. Yeah. Pee in a park. Yeah. Especially in the uh, the lake. Yeah. Especially in the lake where the the ducks hang out. <laughs> in that one uh, or or pee by that bush. <laughs> All right. We'll be right back.
Let's take us back. Take us back. Oh, I can hear myself. Oh, I can hear myself. Back to the past. Send you Ray Jack. All right. I believe we are back. So, all right. It's, it is indeed time for the game's news. So let's go ahead and hit this. Okay. Uh, a couple of things. Uh, one from the Hoyle side of things. Uh, more specifically, uh, uh, Bernice or Bernice, depending on how you want to pronounce her name. Bernice. Yeah. Yeah, because like in this, in, well, this song specifically in the video, uh, say they say they say Bernus, but in other parts or in other videos, some people say Bernice. So I don't know. But uh, did you see this trailer? First off, yes, and I was like, "This is not real." Yeah. Let's go ahead and fire it up, just for the sake of it. Like, you got it. Like. I mean, it's catchy. Mm -hmm. That will make even the best nitro fuel taste like regret. So before you drink, we gotta take care of whatever's troubling. What can I get for you? A drink? Some snacks? Oh, a little flames! Motels fixers eyes. Snacks are real nice. Soda salmon's dry. I'm lit, you can deny. There's lighter. Yeah, a lot of dancing. The the, the dog. Yeah. Yeah. At first, I was like, "What am I looking at? What is happening?" <laughs> and yes, and now by the end, it makes sense. Yeah. Which was like again, like okay, you know, like hmm. Chatting with her friends again. Where was that? Seriously? All right, let me a hand. I'll oh, take her home. Watch it. Careful of the troll. Ew, the troll. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what the hell is happening in this video? <laughs> the very first time I was watching it. But, um, a lot of dancing. And they, uh... A lot, uh, a lot of shaking, too. A, a lot of shaking, yes. It, uh, yes, there's a lot of shaking from Ber uh, Bernice, all right. <laughs> Ho Hoyo knows what they're doing, but damn, man, shit. They really want to sell their character, for sure. Especially this part. <laughs> a lot of things were shaking in that little clip. <laughs> and the dancing... But, um, you know, that, that, that was like pretty much whoa there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Dogs. Yeah, it was all it was all a fever dream, though, I'm afraid. But hey, we, at least we got to see it somehow. Which it's again, it's it's not bad, like, right? you know? Yeah, it's not bad. Like, whoever's part of the um, animation and um production line for this yeah they're, they're having fun oh for sure yeah yeah they're flex they're kind of like flexing like their 
animation team and the music and you know the fact that yeah we got hot hot waifus that people want to pull for and stuff and, um and it shows like look at the view count now it's almost three million from five days ago yeah, yeah. and um in fact right they even put out a one hour version of the song and it has 1.3 million views I I even like put it play this in my car, you know, <laughs> just just you know give it give it a whirl, you know, give it a whirl. I mean, maybe an hour, a whole hour of it is a little much, but you know, like for those who just put it on the background and stuff, and maybe they want to work out to this music or whatever. They, I mean, hey, you know, yeah, for background music. Yeah, background music, exactly. Uh, there's another there's another one with Bernie's, and this one has the 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 live two D animation stuff, which was uh pretty cool. I believe this was oh yeah yes this is so funny because um uh this is more of of not just Bernie's but uh Sense of Kaladin of how they do things, and uh, it was pretty hilarious because it was a Viking funeral pretty much before a um a motorcycle. So I guess like I don't know they they you know lit on fire as it was like cruising. <laughs> Some people thought this was supposed to be a um, funeral for a character for a certain character. Did you did you finish um the story for Kaladin? Uh, Sons of Kaladin. Yeah, I did. Okay, yeah. So yeah, because people thought this was supposed to be Pompey's funeral because you know whatever happened to Pompey, right? Uh, but no, it's just a, just a motorcycle because you didn't notice the picture. It's just a motorcycle's headlights. Yeah. Yeah. So I thought that was interesting. Funny, but interesting. <laughs> you know? They just rode it off to the sunset and uh, yeah. it, I think it blew up. Let's see. I think it did. I think it did explode. Yeah, it did. It did explode. So it's kind of like funny of how they like um, give respect to like the motorcycles as well, you know. But uh, me, I'm just waiting on lighter at this point. I'm I'm saving up for lighter. Yeah. You know, I I I, I uh, did some like hell marys for Burnus, but um, nothing. <laughs> I got a couple yeah. extra uh, Lucy's. That's about it. And um, yeah, I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting on the um, lighter, pretty much. So I have uh, some time to uh, save, and I already like built up like quite a bit of pity anyway. So it's it's gonna it's gonna go off, whether it be for a uh, for lighter or some five star. Hopefully, I, I win the 50-50, but we'll see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. From what it sounds like, like there's some, there's some like uh, early words on the street for Lighter. I heard that he's going to be pretty sick as an uh, impact character. So, I'm I'm saving up for him. But, Burnus is, uh, from what I can hear, uh, from what I'm able to see, she's she's a good character. She, she I mean, she's a good addition to the Anomaly part uh anomaly has been like kind of honestly the meta in a way because anomaly well first off is is basically like the dot of any of those yeah. like rpgs but um because it's like that anomaly doesn't need um crit damage uh stats you, you just have yeah. to have um attack and uh what do you call it like the elemental damage bonus so that's why it's easier to those characters are easy to build and they they dish, dish out a lot of damage. So it's like that's kind of honestly like the meta I think. Yep. Um. So if you <laughs> want to pull for Burnus, then yeah, that, I think it's a good choice. She she and Jane are kind of like the those like S tier characters right now, along with like Caesar and stuff. Honestly, if you have Jane, Caesar, and Burnus somehow, you're you're pretty much set for like a pretty good amount of time uh, at least I feel anyway that's why uh, right now I'm trying to actually build Piper 
because I haven't, been, <laughs> I have not touched her like uh, leveling up and stuff. But mm -hmm. I don't want, I don't have Jane, so that's why I'm gonna build um, Piper as a, yeah. as my sort of pseudo Jane. I already build a Lucy, so I, so I'll have my little like Kaladin trio or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Um, any thoughts you wanted to get out for ZZZ related stuff or? App. Uh, pretty much just like I'm just stuck on a on a uh, well, one, I'm saving because yes. I also want lighter. Mm -hmm. Two, it's mostly like I need to find that right, um, whatchamacallit, that right team mm -hmm. for uh, my fire, which I do have the necessary characters. It's just that, yeah. fuck, now I gotta build them. You know? mm -hmm. Yeah, building them is brutal, especially like when you're trying to build them all the way because it takes a lot of money. In current uh, in game currency, not fun. Yeah, but you know, um, that's kind of like what's been going on. Anomaly is like the the meta right now in ZZZ. We'll see. We'll see how um, lighter change uh, shifts things and all that stuff. You know. Like, yeah, uh, you know, Ellen, Ellen is like already like, I don't know, uh, kind of on the back end for a number of people because of non anomaly. Though for me, I don't have any anomaly, good anomaly characters other than Grace and whatever. But yeah, I, I don't think I'm built for it. So that's why I I rather just stick with um like uh Zhu Yuan and caesar and uh nicole and like a couple other yeah, yeah or, or you know the mono ice team because that's all i got for right now you know but uh either way it's fun the game is still fun i'm trying to work on the the event with the uh the sons of kaladin one the, the one with the restaurant i think uh or I'm trying, to, I'm trying to get started on it but i still mm. i think i still have some time for it so we'll we'll see Oops. Yeah. All right. So that's it for that. Their marketing has been on point. Um, and then of course, and meanwhile, in Star Rail, the character rap is gonna pop up soon, so my wallet's gonna be crying. Um, but it, meanwhile, Call of Duty's Black Ops Six is coming up pretty soon. Um. And Activision looks like they've been trying to fix the whole, like, uh, you know, the big file thing or whatever, you know? Yeah. With, with these games. Still, I thought I'd uh, throw that in there. But, um, yeah, because I'm trying to see if uh, I'm going to try it out. Because uh, there is Game Pass, and this is, like, a Game Pass game. Hmm. I think. I think it's only on Game Pass. I, I, I may be wrong, but... Um, it, it, it it is like a premiere thing on uh, Game Pass, so I'm probably gonna do that for a month and then just uh, that's it with the uh, the boys. But according to this, you can uh, just load or um, what do you call it? install the campaign or and or the multiplayer separately. Uh, together, the two modes will be a total of 56 gigs on PC. All right, and then. Um, I'm just trying to read this. If this is all just to make sure it's all correct. But yeah, cause yeah, cause in the past it's been really hard to like keep Call of Duty and such because it's been like over like a hundred gigs or some shit, shit like that in the past. It's it's crazy, yeah. you know. Um, yeah. Call of Duty's huge file sizes have been a sticking point for players in recent years since introducing the Call of Duty hub through uh, which all Call of Duty releases are installed. The complete file size of having every Call of Duty title installed has ballooned over 300 gigs. Yeah, that's crazy. So it looks like they're trying to like uh, work on that. 
Okay, yeah, so this is what's going on. So, um, all three games, yeah, three, uh, all three games will be playable uh, with Xbox Cloud Gaming for Game Pass Ultimate members starting on October 25th. That's the release date for Black Ops 6. Um, and then, yes, Black Ops 6 will be the first Call of Duty title to launch on Game Pass Day 1. I think that's what it is. Mm. Yes. So, um, for that time, yes, Xbox and, uh, well, Microsoft, I should say, we'll get that kind of that blow up, you know, because, you know, people have been saying like, oh, Microsoft is dead or it's been like uh, really dry and all that stuff ever since the purchase of, um, you know, that big purchase of Activision, all yeah. that stuff. Yeah. And all the, you know, layoffs and all that stupid stuff. Yeah. Business um so that's that oh, excuse me yeah last on the games news razor went ahead and they are selling these uh razor cracking kitty v12s or yeah v, v, this 12 v2s excuse me headsets um and they're gonna have a gengar edition of sorts so you can kind of see here with the uh little ears and even like the little hair that Gengar kind of has and then on the inside too on the cup the ear cup you can see like a little artwork for Gengar and the sides have like the logos um you know as um tempting as it may be I think this is only available in China for right now because it only says now haunting setups in China I don't know if they'll like bring these to the US side of things anytime soon. Yeah, people are saying like I need this, blah, blah, blah. Like, yeah. Um I'm <laughs> guessing, yeah, my guess is that these will be one for one uh 149.99 at least. Not, you know, including shipping and all that stuff. Any uh comment on this one, Zawa? With the headphones. All right. I do have a comment for you. Hold on. Where is it? Come on. I know your address. Give me the link. Me the oh, God. <laughs> Come on. Last for all before I go to my uh, um, vacation in please, December. Please, please don't. Please don't send these to me. <laughs> you'd like, be like, damn it. Oh. No, you'd be working at, you know, your current work. Mm -hmm. And then you see, like, a package to you. You'd be like, what the fuck? I know, right? That'd be so weird. <laughs> That'd be so fucking weird. And then I see, like, somehow, like, one of the coworkers just throw it into the container. Like, oh, oh my God. <laughs> I know. He's like, yeah, hey, that's mine. <laughs> oh. <laughs> love you that'd be <laughs> so funny if that ever happened though a package with my actual name and exact address for it I see it and then just someone just grabs it like nothing and just throws it into the back of the container <laughs> that'd be so funny yep <laughs> you'd be like fuck man <laughs> yeah I know <laughs> pretty much you could you could have just gave it to me nah yeah <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. Yeah, so it says haunting setups in China. Where should he make his spooky appearance next? So it looks like they're like releasing it in different Fox places. Yeah. <laughs> they're looks like they're releasing it in different countries and different like increments or separate increments. So starting mm -hmm. yeah. Obviously they you know they're starting with China because that's I believe that's where they're based. Ish. I think they're either in Singapore or in China. One of those two places. If I'm, if I'm not mistaken um so that's the situation on that yeah they look tempting but yeah um i'm not sure if i'll <laughs> get these myself i don't, I haven't actually yeah. <laughs> used a pair of headphones or uh headsets excuse me with the mic and everything i haven't mm -hmm. had a need to do that in a long, long time besides uh what was it it was like it's might back have been, back in the day yeah back it's like most the most quote unquote recent time was during I think Overwatch, the very first Overwatch. 
I had my pair of uh, Turtle Beach headsets. It's like it's like a your typical Turtle Beach head, uh, headsets. It was like 40, 40 bucks. They're blue, you know. Um, they were like the MLG edition ones, apparently. Remember MLG? Hmm. Man, that's a that's a time capsule of itself. Yeah, how old us? Right. Exactly. All right, that's it for that. Uh, on that end, let's go ahead and finish it off in the visual entertainment and extras news. So I'm going to play this particular sound effect. Why? Because Godzilla Minus One is making his return. Uh, both uh, Minus Color and uh, Minus One, the, the regular one. For the 70th anniversary re celebration, they're going to re-release -re uh, Minus One to theaters. Uh, starting from November 1st. Why not now? <laughs> yeah, why not now? Um, yeah. Put him in my hand. <laughs> this is uh, the poster for it. So that looks pretty awesome. I like that. It's a, it's a more straightforward one. It's like, yeah, you know, Godzilla smashing stuff, you know. Whereas... Uh, the previous one is like, you know, the logo kind of, and then inside it, you see a Godzilla, you know, with the cutout or whatever of the, of the logo. Yeah, this is like, you know, um, you know, it's, it's doing the, the orange and blue thing, right? <laughs> you know, it's time, time and time again. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I hope they also put this on Dolby Cinema. Because I would definitely do that again. Because the sound, the sound for that is was just awesome. I hope they do that. But if it's just like a regular ass, just like oh, um, package or what do you call it, the regular movie experience, then I'm like, eh, maybe I don't know. I'll I'll, I'll re maybe consider it. I don't know. But um, I would like to put my money into that because yeah, I mean, it deserves it. It's like, I'm trying to, like, find time to watch uh, Transformers 1, but I just have not been able to. I want to watch that movie now, because since people have been like, oh, it's really good, yeah. Nah, it sucks. <laughs> yep. Uh, any comments uh, on the return of Minus One? Well, you missed it once. You better have... Go at it. Yeah. Yep. I'm just waiting for my own um, Blu-ray uh, collector's edition. Oh, yeah. I think I, I sent you and you were like, fuck. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So, yeah, I'm good. Yeah. I'm happy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. Definitely happy to see that this is uh, happening. Because I do think it deserves it. Um, absolutely. Maybe if, um, uh, yeah, maybe if I do go back, I do want to see it minus color because I already seen minus one, right? The regular one. Mm. Yeah. I wonder if they hell will have both, uh, Dolby cinema with, or, uh, if they have a uh, minus color with that Dolby cinema package or whatever you call it. If that's the mm -hmm. thing, or if that's, yeah, if that's a thing, then I'll absolutely try to make time for it. Hopefully. <laughs> I mean, do it. Yeah. Try to uh, find the right showtime for it, is the thing. So, yeah, happy. I am happy that this uh, the big G is coming back. For theaters. Yeah, because again, yeah, minus one, minus one was a really good movie. I really enjoyed it. All right, more, uh, more of eating good. Uh, this time with uh, Invincible. Season three, we got a bit of a little, little teaser here. So let's uh, go ahead and play it. Whoa, whoa, hey, uh, we have these things called doors that normal people use all the time. You should try them. We also have these things called... Cecil being norm normal? Normal? Okay, yeah. sure. Yeah. Too, too soon, Cecil. 
Also, how much does it cost every time you like teleport? Is and yes, it is like, Cecil by Penn's assessor. Not even a little more than weird. Ask me. Really irresponsible. It's been months, Mark. Months since two thousand retirees got their vacation crews ruined, and you got your ass kicked by some second cousin of your dad's who dropped in to prove a point. Hey. That point being that she could kick your ass without breaking a sweat. That's not nice. Not only that, <laughs> she promised Mister Ten Times Worse was on his way. So what exactly have you been doing to prepare? There's only eight billion people counting on you. I, I I've been busy. Busy doing what exactly? Well, I I've been busy writing, designing, storyboarding, voice acting, key posing. Hey, hey, hey. no, uh, no, 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 stop! <laughs> I'm falling for that shit. Who do you think I am? Some pickle-hating, one-eyed rube from planet just let the Viltrumites win? I don't think that. What? Mm. Well, I bet you don't. Think what? Think what? Your little four-month vacation right in the middle of things. We all sure love that. You have some mayonnaise? Okay, it was more like <laughs> three and a half. This is life or death, Mark. <clears throat> People are counting on you to live up to your... Damn, he life. ate all his fries. <laughs> what exactly are you doing to get ready He's that one friend, like, them? you're trying to uh, enjoy your food, no, and then I, they I just come in and just, like, pick it off. No, no, right. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. And why I shouldn't leave a 19-year-old in charge of Earth's security. All right, we're taking over your training. Training? What training? What training? Okay. How about weightlifting, cardio, speed, damage resistance, flexibility, battle tactics, reaction, and <laughs> punctuality? That's so much stuff. Okay, when is when is this all gonna start? I thought you'd never ask. Come on. We're a top secret organization, Mark, and we learn from our mistakes. Well, I need to know when to show up. <sighs> Fine. Lights. Ah, much better. No mid-season break. Exercise. So yeah, none, none of that weird pausing in the middle of the thing, which a lot of people complain about. So that's good. That's a, that's a great plan. Um, I'm all for that. Yep, and it's starting February 6th of next year. So we have one more thing to uh, hold us over for uh, during the one, big One Piece break, right? There is that. Uh, any comment for Invincible? Vinsky, my Alan? Yeah, Alan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to see more of it. <laughs> yeah. Well, then I'm expecting this, to this see season, more. I... Mm -hmm. uh, you first. Oh, I was, I was going to say, um, uh, I believe we'll see like more. Uh, faces right more returning characters yeah yeah go ahead i was gonna say with alan i better see him this uh um, this season um mr seth because you know he voices him yes i want to see alan with a with a joint no with and a have that stupid yeah. ass laugh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Ah, there it is <laughs> yep yep yeah, he he is the one of the producers for the show, I think, right? So that's why he kind of is around for that. Kind of funny, you know, with all the stuff that he's been involved in, you know. With the uh, you know, the voice that he has, <laughs> like his go-to. But uh, but no, I think I think uh, I like. That they directly address the uh, the weird mid season thing, and they're not doing that this time around. So that's good. So I definitely look forward to it. Great show, you know. I think uh, season two, if it wasn't for that the mid season thing, it would have been, definitely been a, a better experience for, uh, on that part. Uh, but yeah. Before we move on, let me ask you this. Do you put mayonnaise on your fries? I mix it with ketchup. Ah, okay. So it's all, you're almost kind of, yeah. Because, you know, Cecil yeah. brought up the, the mayonnaise on fries thing. Uh, I wonder if they got that from uh, Pulp Fiction because uh, they made a uh, kind of a big deal with like how Europeans eat fast food or whatever. You know, and then there's the whole thing with, you know, Royale with cheese and all that stuff. 
<laughs> yeah. I actually had just like mayonnaise on fries and it's actually not bad. It's actually like pretty good. I'm like, okay, I can see how Europeans enjoy this. <laughs> you know, I mean, if you think about it, like a, the burger has ketchup, mayonnaise and mustard and all that stuff. And you're just eating the fries with this. So it's like, you know, how far off is that? Right. Now, have you ever put like just mustard on fries? <laughs> I don't think I've ever done that. Are you a serial killer? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure people have done weirder stuff with fries, but, um, yeah. Yeah. I think one of the more weirder, but still common kind of practices is, uh, the milk chicken fries. Do you ever do that? It's actually pretty good. I've done it a lot of times with the uh, McDonald's, like their milkshake and then the, the fries. I also done that with uh, in and out You know, the one thing I, I don't do, though, is uh, directly dip my fries in the milkshake. I, I don't like doing that. I like um, just eating the fries and then just like wash it down with the milkshake. So I like the uh, the sort of potato -y saltiness and then the um that getting like washed down with the the sweetness of the milkshake that's what i like to do so it's, it's basically the uh the the, the fried saltiness with the mm. ice cream because you, you know it's like it's, you ever had fried ice cream no but no. it sounds like uh di diabetes yeah that's why i only see that at state fairs because of <laughs> yeah and only and you should only consume that stuff at state fairs because um, you don't want that too often. <laughs> uh, along with like, you ever had fried Oreos? Deep fried Oreos? Yes. Okay, yeah, it's kind of like that. In terms of the diabetes factor. <laughs> boy, oh boy. Fried everything, right? Like fried pickles, and like fried um, ice cream. Um, all that stuff. Oh yeah, you ever had tempura ice cream? Gonna question your eating habits soon, but continue. No, I mean that's a, that's a thing. I'm not. I'm, I I don't consume it. I'm just saying. I'm just asking if you consume it because other people consume it. <laughs> no, deep fried ice cream is also like a a thing. Like it's not um entirely new for state fair stuff. Yeah. Um, I guess state fairs are a little more associated with like California or whatever. Maybe I don't know because it, especially the Orange County Fair. That's where the the all the hell, un unhealthy shit pops up, or at least a lot of it anyway. <laughs> anyway, unhealthy food aside, I am definitely looking forward to some healthy doses of Invincible next year. All right, this is a quick one. Um, Daredevil Born Again will be out uh, March 20 or no, March 4, excuse me, on Disney Plus next year. Is that what you're looking forward to? We'll see how, because um, they said that it's supposed to be almost an hour long for each episode. Plus, oh shit, I forget that. If it's going to coincide with another Marvel product. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll, we'll see. Because they said they there were going to be some characters from the other Netflix oh, shows. Yeah, the Netflix. Yeah. During the era. Oh, like, uh, um, what to, was it? Luke Cage? Or whatever. Yeah. Um, they didn't say anything about Luke Cage, but they did say Jessica Jones is supposed to show up. Mm -hmm. So what about, Pun that, what about Punisher? Did they mention Punisher? Punisher is back, okay. and it is played by the same um, actor. And you know, did they, they did the whole like, oh no, I'm not coming back. Oh no, they didn't approach me. Blah blah blah. So. Okay. But with the Jessica Jones stuff, it's kind of like, where, where are you pulling her from? Mm -hmm. Like, is it bef before or after her fight with um the Purple Man? Mm, 
Okay. Interesting. All right. Well, we'll I definitely. I mean, if I were you, um, pretty much watch like uh, I think like the first first three seasons, and then okay, and when this when this uh show comes out, then you know you just slide right in. Mm, okay. 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 All right. That's another thing to uh, use this to hold over, right? For you know, <laughs> during the One Piece break. <laughs> All right. So this one, last one, another potential quick one. Henry Cavill is set to star in Amazon's live-action Voltron movie, directed by Red Notice's uh, Rawson Marshall Thurber. Uh, are you a big Voltron fan by any means? By any stretch? Not a fan. It's like I know of it, yeah, but at the time it wasn't my it wasn't my go-to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Same. Uh, I know of it. I watched stuff here and there about Voltron, but yeah, it wasn't like, yeah, it wasn't like, oh my god, I gotta watch Voltron, you know? You know? Like, there were, there were plenty of other shows I'm like uh, was super occupied at the time as a, as a child, and uh, Voltron was somehow not one of them. I I think I think what it was is it was just like a a knockoff anime uh, Power Rangers to me. Hmm. I think that's what it was, and I just didn't take the time to appreciate it or or whatever you know. But uh, yeah, weird you know. Henry Cavill, of all people, to have, you know, for... Because yeah, I think at the time of Voltron, because even though Voltron was, like, what, a uh, 80s, 80s some cartoon? Yes. Or anime. Yeah. Which is an anime. Yeah. Um, I think on the net, you know, the um, international Japanese um, network, yeah. um, I was watching Mazinga Z, yeah, my singer Z. I, yeah. I, mm -hmm. I was watching. I was having more fun with that. So. Yeah, yeah. Understand. Oh, and with um, uh, I guess at the time because you know they were showing like old animes um, Gatchaman and uh, what's that other one? It wasn't like Tatsumi. It was another mech, uh, Cyborg 009. Like oh, the wow. Yeah, so I, I was watching like other shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this that came out. My, that uh, piqued my interest. Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> the original Voltron, I believe, came out around 84, 85 ish. Yeah. So you're pretty much uh, right on that. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, okay. So the uh, this particular Voltron is from eighty forty five. I but the Japanese one. Let me see. Uh, let me see. Yeah, because Voltron is based off of uh, something else with a different title. Let me see. Yeah, because uh, the Japanese version is called Beast King Go Lion. That's the name I do not hear as often. Uh, admittedly. This one came out, yeah. This is from eighty one to eighty two. Okay, okay, okay. So yeah, right into eighties is when the the original Japanese one came out. So yeah, those who don't know, Voltron is definitely not the original name for it. It actually, it actually is Go Lion, Beast King Go Lion. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, all the the what do you call the mechs or whatever are lions. cats or whatever uh yeah 
and it is by or from rather uh toy animation so what do you know all right so that'll be it for that that is it in general we did it uh was there anything else uh you got or Mm. I guess for like, that's where uh, kind of like it's tail end. Yeah. For visual entertainment extras, uh, I think Alien Romanus is going on streaming soon. Oh, okay. Nice. I wasn't able to watch it in theater, so hopefully, uh, I can yeah, yeah, watch it. And then, yeah. Besides that, I think it's next week, right? Or is it this week? Um, Yakuza. Like a Dragon, Amazon. Mm. Yeah. Is out. Uh, either out or out soon, yeah. I'll definitely give that a whirl. But yeah. Um... Yeah, Venom is almost here. The movie Venom, right? The Last Dance. Save the Last Dance. Are you watching it like day one, or are you gonna like wait for a week and then watch oh, it? I'm gonna wait for a week. Oh, okay, okay. Damn, okay. I'm gonna wait for a week, but my friend is gonna do day one, and I'm gonna fly money at him to buy me one of the bucket. Uh, oh, the popcorn oh, the popcorn bucket. buckets. Okay. That thing ain't gonna be clean. It's gonna be filled with milk. <laughs> God. <ugh. laughs> Don't ruin it, man. <laughs> um, you remember what I said la last week? Uh, home is where the dick is. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I know. Yeah, oh, this, I time know. Is, this time it's gonna be like home is where Ven <laughs> Venom's tongue is. W where? What? Home is where the what? No, we're not. Home is where the, the stone is? What? You, you rock hard for Venom? What, what, what were you saying, man? Hell yeah! Aren't you rock hard for him, too? No, what the fuck? Daddy Venom! <laughs> Don't let me into your, your stuff. <laughs> it's fine. Don't let me into your, your strange isms. <laughs> strange. <laughs> Don't let me into your... <laughs> Into your this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever's going on in the background and your thing. Just drinking milk, gun. <laughs> yeah. Tell that to somebody else. <laughs> it looks like he's drinking. He's drinking, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. I think uh, that's our ticket out of here. Thank you very much uh, for this edition of the Hypecast. Oh, yeah. So, reminder. Uh, next week, we'll be off, I believe, right? So. Damn it. Because <laughs> we're already on the 26th, man. By the time, uh, we, we, you know, by next week. So, yeah. We'll be off on the 26th. Therefore, there will be no episode for the following week. So yeah, next week, no episode. Uh, we'll take a break, and then after that, we'll, um, we'll come back and stuff for uh, yeah. No, no, that that be uh, yeah. By the time we come back, it'll be November. So yeah, hopefully, uh, yeah, we should be able to make it. Yeah, by the time uh, November, yeah. yeah, by the time November is almost ending, I think that should be when we hit three hundred. Yeah. Yep. Cool. Yep, and then we'll take a a month break. Yeah, in December. Mm -hmm. I'm going to miss. Probably going to miss it again. Um, fucking uh, the Game Awards. You know, I'm going to have to catch the tail end, or you know, be one day late to it. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm going to be late for a month's worth of gameplay for playing um fucking Marvel Rivals. Cause it it releases on the day I leave. Are you serious? Damn, fuck, yeah. man. You pick you pick you pick like the the most like peculiar days, and it's like you miss out on like. Well, it's more it, it's more like hey, fuck. 
It's like <laughs> the release date is not here yet. Okay, so I have time. It's in December. <laughs> <laughs> or what which day? And then it's like the day you leave. <laughs> Fuck! Uh, no, it is like Marvel. Where I was asking, "Why? What day? What day are you leaving again?" The fifth on the fifth. <laughs> and you just see someone like wiping away like yeah. the number, the actual date that was supposed to be out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> that definitely is what happens behind the scenes. They uh, they calculate it around the day you you leave to uh, for you to go to Florida. <laughs> That's definitely yeah, how it works. Like Florida. Yeah. <laughs> That's definitely how it works. So yeah. Uh, again, we'll be gone next week. And we'll be gone also in uh, December for the most part. Maybe we'll try to sneak in something like one for December. I don't know. No guarantees. But yeah. Either, either way. Uh, we'll be around for, for a little more. And uh, yeah. So... Thank you very much. We will see you all in the next one. Bye bye. Let me find a sound effect. Welcome to hell, motherfucker! Because it's Halloween. <laughs> by the time. Now that was some shit. Yeah.